Good morning. I know you guys will take a second to come in. Um, we changed the time a little bit because there are special guests for the stream today. We will introduce them shortly. The royal we, I guess, or like the symbiote talking inside of my head. <laughs> I can also see our special guests in the corner, which is also very distracting. Hi. Um, so yeah, we're going to do a fun stream today. I have our tater with the pulled mane bang tail in the cast version to show you guys because he was in a mold last time. Our long banded mane and tail is going to be molded fairly soon, so we'll have castings of those. I will make an announcement about how this week we'll have kind of a special tater sale for um, ready to ship ones of our cowboy tater. Um, for almost the last, there'll be a couple of stragglers that'll probably get bunched in with our, um, this guy. I'm not gonna tell you his name just yet, but soon, very soon. Um, yeah, so that'll happen this week. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a minute. And yeah, we'll go from there. So I'm going to go pop over to chat because we have awesome people already here. We have Katie. Good morning, Katie. You're on time. It helps if I give you guys a heads up, I'm sure. Um, Amy. Good morning, Amy. Hi, Don. How's it going? Julia. Good morning. That's like the most enthusiastic good morning. I actually had coffee and sleep, unlike poor Haley here that will be joining us shortly. She has not slept. Um, but hopefully those two have been caffeinated because that helps. And it's going to be crazy anyways. Maybe we shouldn't be caffeinated for this. Um, we have Lizzie. Good morning, Lizzie. Um, let's see. Glad I saw this earlier as it's earlier than usual. Yes. So we're doing it a little bit earlier just because of the guests that we have today. Um, but they will be joining us soon. We have Kimberly. Good morning, Kimberly. Joining us on YouTube. And Christina. Good morning. Um, Katie's saying, if Tater actually eats a potato, is that considered cannibalism? I have a funny story. I was eating a like sausage and egg McMuffin thing out with Turbo and he got so excited and wanted to eat that so badly. And I'm like, it's not quite cannibalism, but that's a cow, buddy. <laughs> like, don't eat burgers and meat and stuff that freaked me out. I was like, no, you're not allowed to have it. Um, but it might be. Tater eats taters. Might be cannibalism. Who knows? All right, so let's quickly, I will show off stickers in a minute, um, but I'll just quickly go over the tater stuff since we have a few people here already. So this guy is the pulled mane. Look at all his hairs. And this one's not quite 100% clean casting, but he's out of the mold. He's in resin. And bang tail. Da -da -da. He is hollow. La la la. And he has his little pore hole still in his bum. So he's not quite 100% clean yet. But all of his little gooey details. He is ready for the performance show that wants to do all the different things, English and Western, and it be a little bit more flexible. Uh, his name, drumroll, is going to be Hasselback. So Hasselback is a type of potato because they're all named after potato dishes. I will show you why this makes the sense. Ba, ba, ba. So check these out. This is a Hasselback potato. So they are sliced, which reminds me of his mane. <laughs> I was like, I can't unsee that now. I actually made it yesterday for us for dinner because I couldn't not have potatoes and it was cool. I've never tried this before. They're like little mini soft extra squishy french fries but in potato form. So this will be Hasselback Tater um, and the name's kind of fun anyways. And then with Cowboy Tater he's a little bit more rednecky cowboy rough around the edges. And then I will not release the name of the third one just yet but it is coming very soon. And I think you guys will like that one too. But yeah, it'll be fun. Ah, Darren's here. Hi, Darren. You should be in the thingy too. I can invite you. Um, Andrea. Good morning, Andrea. So yeah, it should be really fun. I'm excited. So there'll be new swag for him. There'll be two different stickers. The I Heart Tater sticker will be a little bit different. It'll also have him on it. So you'll have the main and tail version that you get. Then you can collect the set if you want. Um, there won't be a limit on 
if you want, if you got a cowboy tater and you want this guy and even the next guy, um, you can have one of each if you like. The limits, which, yeah, the limit was on of one type. So it'll still stay for these guys when I open up the edition. It'll be, you'll be able to buy one of him. Um, and then potentially towards the end, then I might open it up and then people have the opportunity to buy more than one. So I should do one called Waffle Fry. Eee, that'd be cute. Um, good morning, Bobby. Hi. Uh, let's see. Katie said, I made those one night uh, with bacon and sour cream. I know. I didn't have sour cream, but we did butter and herbs and it was still delicious. So it works out. So a Hasselback will be available fairly soon. I'm just getting a batch ready. Um, we have a batch started. I'd like to have about 20 available for the first batch. But with the last of our cowboy taters, this guy, we're getting a whole bunch of the time payments ready to go. So they'll be pretty much ready to ship once people are paying them off, which will be really nice. Um, same thing will happen with the other two guys. We're going to build up some inventory once we do the time payments so that when people pay them off, they ship right away, which is going to be awesome. Um, yeah, so the... Almost the last of these guys, there's going to be one final batch that I'm going to do, and it's going to be done lottery style so that people that can't do the immediate sitting there refreshing your screen five bajillion times will be able to go in, put your name into the draw. I will draw names, um, and I'm going to open up the limit so that if you've had awesome luck and you were able to get one of these guys before, um, that you can try for a second one at the end here because we'll all. We'll do it that way um because i know there's a couple people that were really sad that they couldn't get to and i believe most people at this point have gotten the one that they want or they want one of the other versions so we'll try it out see how it goes but this way you don't have to be online refreshing so i'm going to open that up today and then it'll be available until wednesday i will draw names on thursday i think yeah i'll draw names on thursday and then we will go from there and I'll get everybody invoiced. These will be the paid in full ones. There aren't any time payments available for this guy now. They're all spoken for, but there will be for the two new versions that are coming. Um, and then last week I got some of the time payment ones that had paid off early. Everybody that's paid off early is shipped. And then three more biters went out on Monday. Those are still going slow, but they're going out. Um, like I've mentioned before, she takes a significantly longer amount of time. And I have somebody that's helping us. Well, actually two people helping us with this guy and the other versions because they're not as jerky to deal with. Uh, da, 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 Julia saying, I'm excited for the bandit dude. Katie, can't wait to go back to work next week. Oh my goodness, you're going back to work next week? That's so... Like, time flies. It's like you were just babying not long ago. Um, let's see. Amy says, has F5 or fast flashbacks on refreshing? <laughs> Pretty much. When you're sitting there, like the, the COVID one particularly in 2020, where it was like, oh my God everybody freaked out, but that's pretty much what it's been like forever. And it's going to be the same, I think with, um, blue Zeus. I think that's going to be causing some online fights, but on that note, I'm going to let our special guests in, I think <laughs> they're like, what? So I will do them one by one and then we will be introducing them properly. I'll go back here. So let me introduce Haley, who's been on the stream before, of HN Studios. Hello. Everybody can hear you now. You're all good. And then Hi. we have da, 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 Alexis of North Star Legacy Studios. <laughs> You're here. Yeah. Sweet. So I'll swap us around there. And then we can say hi to everybody. So say hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello, hello. Cool. So yeah. there we go. <laughs> everybody's like, what are we doing? I'm like, I can't hear anyone. You can't hear it's anybody? Just, no, no, no. I can now. It was just oh, okay. Um, <laughs> be a little laggy sometimes. Yeah. So um <laughs> so many people saying hi in the chat. Yay. 
Um, so yeah, I invited Alexis and Haley on. They were doing a Briar West stream, and I kind of crashed it a little bit. <laughs> In the chat, the I was the only like, one. I think that mainly goes to me, but I don't know <laughs> Facebook etiquette well enough. I think that was yeah. yeah. It didn't block you, so it's all good. It didn't. I was I, surprised. I got a chat. I got a chat warning for my grandmother. <laughs> Oops. That was funny that Facebook eated your grandmother. Um, she wasn't yeah. even being that bad. But they, yeah. they threatened to put me on a 30 day ban if I didn't control my chat. I'm like, are you, excuse me? Really? <laughs> yeah. They're like, ne the next time you go against community standards, your chat goes against community standards, you could get up to a 30 day ban. I'm like, wow. Oh my goodness. They're just ban a little. <laughs> That's kind of ridiculous. We won't say. <laughs> Yeah, well, no, we won't because then we'll get banned. <laughs> exactly. We'll try not. To. Yeah. I did uh, change the orientation of the stream to today just so that it would be um, a little bit easier for the people on YouTube and Instagram has decided to just, it doesn't want to deal with my stream. Um, so yeah, hopefully that works. Facebook is a troll, <laughs> says Katie. We have Karen. Hi, Karen. Hi, Brenda. How's it going? Um, why did the chat go against standards? Asks Julia. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say this in a very loose way. My grandmother had a very specific <laughs> question about a potato and decided to use a, a specific word that is spelled S T A B in the chat. Um, and she got immediately kicked off the stream, and then I got warnings. I'm like. Do because it. we are no longer allowed to use forks <laughs> to eat food, yeah. apparently. We can't aggressively poke anything. <laughs> <laughs> and from for, forever now, it's going to be <laughs> aggressively poking. We're no longer <laughs> allowed to say the S word. Yeah. It is aggressively poking. Yeah. We have Cindy in the chat. And I wanted to say a special thank you to Cindy. Because she mm -hmm. has allowed me to acquire a boy that we will, I guess, talk about right now. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. So Briar did this mm -hmm. this week. They announced that they're unbeknownst to anybody because they don't tell us in advance what the other releases in the Vintage Club are. They released Domingo, who's based on San Domingo, originally on the San Domingo mold, that his edition ended when I was born. <laughs> so that's an interesting fun fact. Um, also reproduced on several molds, including the semi-rearing Mustang. He comes with the book um, because he's based on the character in um, Marguerite Henry's books from the 70s. And I'm endlessly thankful. Thank you so much, Cindy, um, for letting me trade you and adding him to my herd as mm -hmm. wish of like, or honey's like, hey, do you want him on sale? Um, yeah, so I'm really, really excited. He looks really cool. He is gorgeous. I definitely <laughs> needed one. Yeah. I think Haley was the first one to send me a link and I squealed so loud. <laughs> Super I heard cool. it from Canada. It was. <laughs> and then I was like going on this endless time trying to find you one. And when Cindy came back and she's like, I've got one. Do you want to trade? I'm like, yeah. I was, I, was, I was more thrilled for you than I would have been if I found one. <laughs> It'll be like, good. He'll be added to the the conga line up there. The I'm sorry we couldn't get you a quadriga, whatever his name is. Oh my god, one day maybe mm -hmm. I'll be like, I will trade. Crazy <laughs> custom that might happen one day if once I get through yeah. the biters and I have time to do customs again, I'll be like, anybody want a pretty custom? <laughs> <laughs> I need a pretty fire heart. I can't afford. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that'll be fun. Amy's saying, not me snooping on mm -hmm. all the fun things in the studio background there. Oh, yeah. There's tons of stuff for all of us going on in the background. Mm -hmm. um, sporks. Away. Now we're talking about sporks. Hi, Gail. How's it going? <laughs> um, Kinsey's here. Hello. What else are you <laughs> Is it Kitten? Kinsey. Oh, Kinsey. Where? Right. Where? Oh, hi. <laughs> Just hopped on. And it's funny because like these two can see it. There's chat that happens on Facebook and YouTube and the people on Facebook and YouTube can't see each other's chats, I don't believe. 
Um, but oh, we can I, do both. And we have Ellen. I, say, I thought I saw both. Yep. Yeah. It has the little icon on the bottom that tells you where it's mm -hmm. from. Um, so yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, Cindy. I greatly appreciate it. Um, he's been all over the internet for people wanting to find him because obviously Briar didn't give us a heads up. They, let's see, I'll show you guys this. So this is the original guy he's based on, the original San Domingo. So same pattern, people were like, he's not a vintage mold and it looks like a normal paint job, but he is based on a vintage model from the 70s. So he is vintage as much as they do update the paint jobs and they've been doing newer molds this year. So I'm not sure what, what that is. I think that was kind of the, um, the whole idea of the club was like newer molds with older paint jobs that they didn't just reproduce all vintage. Yeah. Cause we have the uh, Sandman, the Smokey that I have, cause he's fantastic. And his yeah, paint job is a modern, lovely, detailed, wonderful paint job on an old mold. So they do that sometimes. And then they'll do older style stuff, like with all the brighties that they did and all the deco colors. That's like an older paint job on an older mold. Sometimes it's an older paint job on a newer mold or an older style, whatever. They just kind of like do little things. Um, Julie's saying, I miss the days of them showing the black and white picture for all the VC releases. Yeah. I don't know. It's hard because sometimes you do really well if you tell people and sometimes you do better if you don't. And maybe they're just trying a whole bunch of things to see what kind of works the best and going with that because you got to kind of mix things up. Uh, here's our semi rearing Mustang. He's fantastic. I might need to get one of those to go with mine because I like the semi rearing Mustang. Some of the older molds are just fantastic for being just the classics it works um yeah so there's that i brought um uh, since i got totally distracted <laughs> <laughs> i brought Haley and alexis on because i destroyed their chat and kind of punked them a little bit when they were punk when they were punking from briar west <laughs> when they were streaming from briar west and it was a lot of fun and I thought it would be a good fit to have them on here so they can talk about their experience with Briar West. And then they can also start getting us excited for Briar Fest because we will all be rooming together, which will be kind of fun. And along with a whole bunch of cool people in Hoser House, and it's going to be, I'm so excited. We're talking details now, and it's very, very exciting. So let's talk about what you guys did at Briar West, how many years you've been going to Briar West and Briar Fest and kind of give us, if for people who've never been, a rundown of how it went and all that good stuff. So, um, okay. I was well, I, well, okay. Um, so my first Briar West experience was last year uh, when Haley under kind threat told me <laughs> she's like you come with me to Briar West there's no negotiation <laughs> so, <laughs> me being a non-shower at all at that point um was like really and she's like yes you are going to sit with me during the open and you are going to sign up for <laughs> um the youth and novice show because <laughs> we're gonna get you in showing <laughs> whether you really want to or not. No, it ended up being great. I had a lot of fun. So uh, we went in. Um, Briar West is kind of a fun, yeah, kind of. Um, so it was really fun. I was, of course, like kind of nervous. We did sales tables um, during this like swap meet area, but it was definitely my first time because I've never gone, like I've been to Briar Fest before, but I've never been to the show. So like, the whole experience was kind of new, so that was fun. Haley pretty much guided me and helped me out, which was awesome because I'm like, I don't know what's going on. And you don't think it's hard until you've never done it before. And then you're like, what do I do? And there's everyone's like, oh, no, you do this and this. And so there's so many nice people in the hobby who are super helpful, and it was a great experience. So we had fun um, at – her open show and then the youth and novice I ended up getting um there, there wasn't much beyond my 
stable mate. So Jennifer <laughs> had a hard time <laughs> dealing with that, I'm sure. Um, cause she was the judge. Um, but I ended up getting like champ and reserve champ for that. So nice. that was fun. And then we right. went this year and that was a whole fun. We shared a table and Haley will, will say more, but I ended up doing better. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, do I have my stuff together? Maybe a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah. So I was a, a lot pushy, of bossy friend, you know, <laughs> getting past your anxiety. Yeah. And honestly, and... the only other way to do it is like being pushed off the ledge. And she was, she was like, here, let me like walk you to the ledge. You can look over, decide if you want to jump or not, and then push me. <laughs> I was just thinking of on the edge live. That's kind of fitting. Like, yeah, yeah. she does. They do have a horse jumping off a ledge. So, I mean, really. Uh, so, no, we had a lot of fun. We obviously got us a hotel um, thing together. So we um, we hung out and stuff. And as you saw on the other on the Facebook <laughs> uh, stream from Haley, we kind of had some fun. <laughs> um, as as yeah and then got kicked off so I mean that was really fun I had a blast this year um I had a couple horses take first in um workmanship which was really awesome um one of my horses got I think reserve champ in um workmanship no, you got, got um champion in workmanship someone else got reserved did they not I my ribbons as reserve champ they lied because I <laughs> well I might have to that's find awesome. out about that but and that was cool time out that's not bad at all yeah. yeah so that was that was really exciting so I didn't we were talking I wasn't even paying attention Haley's like oh what? like shouting at me hello are you paying attention like you got a ribbon yeah. so I'm that, kind of the, the same way at the show you've experienced it <laughs> where it's like scatterbrained I remember going to Northwest mm -hmm. Congress and it was huge and people brought out like mink, vintage mink customs and all sorts of crazy mm -hmm. rare stuff. And I put a horse, it was a little mini Nahara I customized on the table. And I was showing with a whole bunch of Canadians that we all came up in a convoy. And um, so much fun. I was so overwhelmed and I'm like, my work doesn't belong here. Oh my God. And he had, he was a little rose gray, um, rose dapple gray Nahar, mini Nahar, the little guy with uh, customized mouth so he's calling and his ears both mm -hmm. forward his name was Casanova and I put him on the table next to a Liz Shaw mm -hmm. custom to hire like and I was like this thing sold for I don't even know how much money there's no way in mm -hmm. the world mine's even gonna place in this class right mm -hmm. and I hear screaming from across the room Raven you want something and I turn around and there's a picture that and Chris mm -hmm. Jolly keeps posting the damn thing every <laughs> once in a while but it's like me bawling. I'm like, ah, <laughs> like crying, like ugly crying. And she's like, ah, behind me, the horse on the table. And I just, I like blew my mind and mm -hmm. was kind of that moment of like, maybe my work is not too bad, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like absolutely crazy that mm -hmm. stuff like that happens. And if I wouldn't have been pushed by those friends to like go to the American shows, it would be hard to mm -hmm. even, yeah, be here maybe. I don't know. Because you yeah. need that confidence boost along the way to understand, hey, I can maybe do this. Yeah, I think, I, yeah I think that's really the biggest thing. Because like you said, confidence boost. You don't think yourself, like you, you only see your work and you don't really like push it. And then when you do have it out there, you're like, oh my God, like I did better than I thought. I can't believe I actually like, got ribbons. I know. <laughs> so, what is happening okay proof for it didn't happen hold on i'm gonna do this <laughs> and i uh hold on. okay there's a pick and it did happen <laughs> <laughs> so that's the little oh. mini nahar he was very cute he got second place but he still got an end card in a giant class and i'm pretty sure he beat out the Liz Shaw custom, which is crazy. That's and Bobby's crazy. laughing at me in the background. And then <laughs> Chris Kelly's like, ha, 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 she did the thing. And I'm like, I'm so embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> so there you guys go. You, there's proof that that happened. And I don't even remember when would that have been? Northwest Congress. Did I say what the date was? 
I don't even know. That would be 15 to 17 years ago, probably. Yeah, yeah we're just going to talk about, okay, you guys talk now. <laughs> Firewatch for me. Um, <clears throat> I went in 2021. That was my first year going, so I've been three years consecutively now. Um, I would have done the Youth and Novice with Alexis to help her out uh, 2022, but I was kicked out. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> like, um, you no longer qualify. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I The first year I went, I took overall champ of the show with my Rhiannon, or not Rhiannon, Rhiannon, mm. and then reserve champ of customs with the custom that Alexis has. Um, so they're like, it's not bad. Yeah. Be free. Yeah. Her, her big rosette lives. Right there. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Um, and then, so 2022, we did, I pulled her into the open show ring with me and had her sit there and see the crazy. I didn't think she was going to come back after that. Um, it was intense. Open is its own beast, mm -hmm. especially if you've done like novice. Opens like now you're in the pool with the big sharks. Yeah, and I stuck with customs because I was like, I'm not dividing because no. <laughs> That's all I show too. It's not fun either way. I that Briar West 2021 was the last year I showed no F. Yeah. Um. So I pulled her in for that. We, I was sitting with her for the Youth and Novice on Sunday. And then I did threaten her again to come to this um, this year. Mm -hmm. I guess it was 22, 23, 24. So I went in 22, not 21. I'm confused. Um, so 23 was the year that she came out. And then I threatened her again to come out for this one. Um, <laughs> And she was kicked out. Bribe her instead of threatening. Well, I mean, <laughs> bribery doesn't work. Um, she does it out so of love. So I mean, <laughs> it was out of a place. Yeah, it was out of a place of love. It's fine. Um, That's what we're rolling with, at least. <laughs> yeah. So she was kicked out of youth and novice, thrown into open, just like me were. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> um. So yeah, she absolutely kicked butt. I was so proud. I think I cried more than she did when her horse won <laughs> the rosette. Um, I was so distracted. <laughs> look, she's on the other side of the hall, and I screamed. <laughs> and then started crying. I'm like, this yeah. is... And I was already in that headspace for the day, because Ash had already taken first in workmanship, and I bawled. Yeah. Um, so I, I was already like, you know what? These people have seen me cry. I'm going to do it again. Um, <laughs> Doesn't no matter shame. anymore. <laughs> the facade um, has been broken. <laughs> yeah, I don't even have a Do you see the picture? I don't have a facade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I tried to hide in a corner with her. And I knew I was going to cry if she did win. Like if she did take something. But yeah, I, I didn't realize that that would be my reaction when Alexis won, but I was so proud and so happy for her. Mm. And like, I don't know how many people know this, but when I ran in 20, in 2021, when I ran my classes, um, the first time I ever ran classes, I did a 10 week free course for mm. painting enamel camo. Alexis came to that and that's where I met her. Oh, yeah. um, and I, I reeled her back into painting. So oh seriously, she did. I it was not gonna happen, probably. So yeah. it was pretty awesome. That's the so, best. Like that's like the core of the hobby is like mm -hmm. you find awesome people and support each other and do awesome things and like build on your awesomeness together. In yeah. like, it's just so cool because that core of like we're horse people and mm -hmm. love horses and love art in a lot of cases because we're artists mm -hmm. not everybody obviously in the hobby is an artist as well but there's always that core mm -hmm. like 
we love horses and we're crazy. Yeah. Then we can have fun adventures together of like yeah. building on stuff and like crying when your friend wins prizes mm -hmm. and making like Chris Jolly was fantastic. And she's a, an amazing artist in her own right and has been in the hobby for many, many years. And I was like, Chris Jolly, like, gives a crap that I won stuff? Like, this is crazy. And, like, meeting people yeah. along the way, like Sarah Mink and Lynn Fraley and teaching with Lynn Fraley. Like, there's just so many possibilities that are just so cool under the surface of, like, all the good stuff. And then we've got, like, the trolls. <laughs> And the crazy hobby, which we've seen a few times even just this week. <laughs> but, and it comes out at, at things like Briarfest and Briar West too. But yeah. yeah. But was, there's so much good underneath it that I think the reminder of that's really important. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's awesome seeing like um I went to Kit and Me last weekend and um I met some awesome new people that I've never met to that drove up like him. Hin, Patty, like she oh, yeah. came up to me and talked to me, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, I follow your stuff!" I'm like, "This is so awesome to actually meet you and talk to you." And she's like, talking to me. I'm like, "This is so cool because you just don't, don't like realize like when like you talk to people, like the hobby is so more welcoming than you like." I was so afraid. Like I, my grandma collected, and she is the one who passed on that. Like um instilled the chaos of ponies <laughs> to yeah. me and um and she she lives in Virginia and I don't see her very often so like there's not much like we can't get together and like enjoy the hobby as much and I never really was like I never knew anybody else in the hobby so yeah. it was really awesome when like I friend requested Haley and then she did this whole thing and then she opened this whole world <laughs> she was, I'm like oh my gosh because I went to Briar Fest in 2009 for my birthday um and I took a couple of classes and it I kind of like like I ended up with an airbrush I never used it because I was so deathly afraid of like cleaning it I guess I don't know <laughs> but like I was, everyone's like make sure you clean it properly and so I was like I will never get all have airbrush trauma. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So seriously, I was like so deathly afraid of this airbrush. So I would pastel and I have a couple horses, but I never really did much with it because I didn't have like my grandma. I showed my grandma, but that was pretty much it. And so um, after taking Haley's classes and like, she was like, here, it's not hard. <laughs> like, and, then you you and then, and then it was like, all of this stuff and then we got to be really good friends and then she's like yep yeah, now now I've let you look at the cliff now we're going to experience the drop <laughs> so so now we are like full dive and so so a lot of this stuff I don't know if I would have gotten back into the hobby to this level had it not been for Haley so it's really awesome and everyone else has been like incredible and like working like me like hey like if you have any questions or like oh my gosh come like look at this where uh, I was always like looking at YouTube and like like searching like back and I'm like this is so much nicer now the hobby's like everyone's hi 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 like I go in and I'm like I'm like a dog hello <laughs> like <laughs> friend <laughs> that's like me so too it's gonna be so bad at Briarfest yeah <laughs> we'll both yeah. feel like no. And Haley would be like, oh, my God. <laughs> I, Haley, I take it to make it. Haley's I, experienced the crazy. <laughs> yeah. I have, we, the swap meet this year, I um, I was already kind of not in a head frame for Briar West. I wasn't going to go. There was a very big debate on whether we were giving Lexus the hotel and just staying home. Well, there's um, also a giant snowstorm that people, like, it was not good. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, there was that whole aspect a couple weeks before we had the whole horrible life experience. Um, life does that. So, wasn't sure I was going to go, so we get to the swap meet. I'm already, like, I'm out-peopled already. I'm like, mm. um, but you have to have this <laughs> door of... It, it really was. Yeah. And you have to have this sort of like draw to people. You can't be sitting there like, yes, yeah. <laughs> exactly what I want to do. So poor Alexis, she's already tired. I'm tired. I don't want to talk to people. But every time someone walks past, I'm like, 
hi, how are you doing? How's your day going? I don't even know why I keep asking. How can it be a bad day when there's ponies? And just like. <laughs> she did. She like, really broke out of her shell. She was like, hello. I was like, That's yeah. Funny. When we got back to the hotel, I'm like. She's throwing herself off the cliff, too. Yeah, it's not yeah just she, did. She, <laughs> she did. She was like, I'm just taking one for the team now. I guess I've harassed you enough to like, warrant one. So, no, well, she I did really well. I think that's funny because I think most of us as model horse people are a little bit more of that, like, introverted, isolating mm -hmm. type. And it's sometimes hard to be social or we're socially anxious or all these things. And I think we forget because we see people be so different online that when we get together that we're all just crazy horse people that just want to talk about ponies and all of this makes us happy and you can just get like the puppy wiggles just from talking about it like and that we can be having a really shitty time in our life or mm -hmm. the day or whatever or even a bad experience in the hobby and then we get together face to face even like video stuff isn't it's better than the online I'm you can't see my face when you're yeah. like you're a dink and then my face <laughs> cries <laughs> I know, I know. it's horrible because people are so just mean online when they can't there's no repercussion for it mm -hmm. other than yeah. other people potentially lighting them on fire but we get in the same space and like stuff like Briarfest you don't see fist fights but you see them online we can't yeah. do this to each other in person. That's why these events are so good. And it's good to talk about them and remember the like juju of finding the new person and taking them yeah. and being like, it's okay. You can fly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a flying squirrel. I think you can do it. Yeah. Or I like you. You're weird. Like me. Come. You can be like, yes, yes. <laughs> forever. That'd be like that's the that's same exciting. weird, like mm -hmm. smoky model. <laughs> yeah. I didn't her leave. Hmm? I, after that class, <laughs> she was like, I, her. I was like, you can't leave me. You're my friend now. <laughs> She's like, and you didn't know it, but you signed up. It's a full-time commitment. We're like marriage, but not quite. <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> together. And it was, it was actually like a really rough spot in the hobby. And I just, I knew I needed to find my people. Mm -hmm. And. Alexis is totally my people. You and Darren have become my people. There's Molly. There's like, I've got all of these amazing people that are just so incredible. Mm -hmm. And it it's like, you got it's so many friends. And like, I don't even mention all of them because we go into this list, but it's like, <laughs> it was so nice to finally have that. Yeah. And yeah, she didn't get to leave. She could have left if she wanted too, but I would have just roped her <laughs> and told her and been like, well, you had a chance of freedom and you didn't run fast enough. It's like yeah. you can check out anytime you like, but you can never leave. <laughs> yeah, yes, exactly. Just like that. <laughs> well, and it's so funny, like I have always been considered that weird horse person and judged for it so much. And I think we all are in the same boat. A lot of us were mm -hmm. bullied for it. And I had people that were like, you know what? If you were just slightly less of a crazy horse person, then I would really like you. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, okay. But now we find these people that are our people and we don't have to be ashamed of that part of us. We can like show it. It's like going to Comic-Con. Like when I went to Briarfest, I'm like, I have arrived at Mecca. Like yeah. this is like yeah. Comic-Con, but for horse people. And I can talk to anybody and yeah. I could just say like, whatever. you could go to Briarfest and be like, I don't know, ponies. And then somebody else would be like, ponies. And then like the whole room would erupt. And like, yeah. there's so much energy to that, that I think we need. And mm -hmm. we don't want to hide that part of us. Cause like, mm -hmm. frick, look around. They're everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere. Like my ponies are part of me. And then I don't feel like this is weird. And somebody comes into my basement and they're like, is this what you do for a living? And it's weird to them. And it's like this weird disjointed mental thing. That's hard to wrap your brain around. It's hard. Cause I, I have a different like full-time job and work with chemicals. So it's like, like very like straight face kind of a deal and then I say oh yeah I'm an artist and they're like oh what kind and I used to say well I, I do everything which does technically count everything um now I say I'm an equine artist because to tell somebody yeah. who doesn't know anything about yes I take little plastic ponies in different sizes and I paint them or I cut them up and I reassemble them 
doesn't go over very well. <laughs> not not bad. And some people are like, when I um, because when I bought my house, um, it was a repo, so I had to come get it reassessed. Um, I had a, all my horses out in the cabinets, like everywhere there's horses, like you can't not hide them. Uh, the lady that came in and did the appraisal, she's like, oh, you collect briars. I looked at her and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> like, you know, right? Like, hi, friend. She's like, I don't collect them. I actually do horse shows, but I know people who do. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm like not alone just because I think I'm alone in this little bubble. I know there's people like there's um um some horse friends that I've made who are literally like 30 minutes away. Like, yeah. like you don't even realize how close we are because we're so isolated in this like mental bubble that mm -hmm. when you get outside of that there's more people but explaining it to some people is like yeah you like, can see their face change <laughs> yeah when you're like oh i'm an artist and they're like excited they want to help yeah. they're like what do you do and you're yeah. like well i do horses well show me like i want to see and you're like okay yeah. and then yeah. they're like i don't i don't get it <laughs> yeah. like did you do that whole thing well no like yeah. No, it, it started like this, and they're like, okay, so, like, that's cool. And it's like, yeah, period. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, and then I normally follow that up with, well, you know, there's lots of people that do amazing <laughs> art that do this, yeah. like, and it's a weird remix, like, and I try and equivalent, like, the equivalency in my brain is like model trains because people get really intense about those too. Right. Yeah. And it's like, well, there's model trains and I'm like, you, you probably wouldn't believe what some of these sell for because usually yeah. the money makes them be like, that's a thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like the puppy wiggles of her being like, Oh, you collect yeah. rice. And we're like, oh, we speak the same language. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It's like, hi friend. It. Hi friend. Yeah. So Darren just said we need a definition for the job that's simpler. This is helpful. When people ask me, mm -hmm. as uh, equine artists, I kind of play off of that. Um, I'll say, like, I am a realistic 3D equine artist. And they're like, that's interesting. I have gotten away with them not asking questions. I'm like, yeah, yeah that would so, work. I am a mad scientist that cuts ho plastic horses' heads off and reassembles them for fun. <laughs> yeah, for fun. My hobby is destruction and creation. <laughs> like, like, yeah. Amy's yeah. like big mood on, did you do that whole thing? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's so That's much fun. <laughs> it's always hard to explain, especially when you've done just minor re-sculpting. Mm -hmm. Like, with Ash or with the org, they're like, Did you do that whole thing? I'm like, Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> no, it's, but yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's hard to explain. No. But our, our people know what we mean. We're like, We mm -hmm. did the main, and they're like, Die! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly. No, it's, it's it's definitely interesting to see people's reaction. And sometimes because I'm like, I'm, I tell people right off the bat, like, hello, I'm slightly crazy. Just so you know, when you, <laughs> when you meet me, there's a level of like comfortability that I have that will probably make you uncomfortable at some point. So like, just letting you know, I am here and I'm about to mess up your entire mental state. So <laughs> like, if you can't get on my level I'm sorry but I'm here for the long haul <laughs> so like oh I apologize God. in advance and then most people are like okay yeah you leave when I go for the in the group chat that was tame what yeah Alexis in the group chat she's oh. like oh we're comfortable we're gonna here. get along yeah, yeah I, I have a lot of fun I'm kind of weird but I roll with it I tell we're people I'm weird so I mean of course the more you embrace it, I think the better it is because people mm -hmm. either are like, I can get along with this or I can't get along with this. Yeah. And then they yeah. don't keep you down. And yeah. it just, yeah, it works yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Or they're making like hobby friends in the chat and telling each other yeah. where they're from so they can awesome. hang out. I love this. This yes, we do. We all need to do pony road trips together. Like we should make like a, a itinerary of like shows or something. We could just all go to just do a whole like. <laughs> we'll do an actual all the shows. 
I'm still waiting for the two of you to come down to my show. I know you're going to melt. Alexis was supposed to. You're in Arizona. That's hot. Yeah. I'm in Canada. It's cold. It's nice. Briarfest is going to melt me. So. That's hotter than it is here right now. So hopefully not. But I will attest if you're not used to humidity, like you're gonna melt. <laughs> like I did. Hot. I was like, I had a surface level of like a protective Me. liquid bubble. Yeah. Yeah. I every time, every time I go to Briarfest, doesn't matter if it's raining out or not. I'm like feeling it. <laughs> But. Well, in Colorado is much colder and they mm -hmm. pick a really cruddy time of year to do Briar West mm -hmm. for weather and travel. But yeah. like if you were to compare the two events, Briar West to Briar Fest, like is it obviously they're very different in how they run? I've never been to Briar West. So is mm -hmm. it it's a much more smaller, intimate thing? Like, do you get more time with the artists if you want to say hi to people? Because I know they don't really do a meet and greet other than the Artisans mm -hmm. Gallery at Briar Fest. Mm hmm. I was gonna yeah, Briar really. West, you've got like the tables set up there, and they're there for the day. There's a couple artists there, and yeah, you can pretty much talk their ear off and spend as much time as you want. And then I found that it's pretty easy to talk to people during the uh, the open show too. Like yeah. Ruth and I were Ruth Sheridan was just across yeah. from me, and we chatted for like an hour. Mm -hmm. and just walked away when we needed to put ponies back. Came back, chatted. Like it's. It's a really good environment. How are yeah. the show sizes? Like, do you find a, a difference between the show sizes mm -hmm. and like the competitiveness? Is it crazier at Briar Fest? Briar yeah. Fest is insane. Yeah. Like hands down, uh, insane. <laughs> crazier prizes too, so people go a little. It is. It's cool though, but like we, I saw out of the two hundred, right, two hundred Redmonds that exist, probably like forty of them, <laughs> like on the same table <laughs> so like it's a God, lot of judge. yeah it's like a lot of like everyone like i'm coming and i'm bringing like as much of my fanciness as possible and it it's intense there's like we're briar west with the open you can walk around talk to people if you're not paying 120 percent attention to all the rings going and yeah. uh, on in briar fest it's chaos like absolute like you can't talk to anybody like I knew other people and I wasn't even leaving the table to go say hi to anybody else <laughs> like I knew there were other people I'm like I'm not looking for them I don't have time <laughs> like yeah. I'm not even where we did talk to like a bunch of people like in even at Briar West at the show like around the rings there were people who were kind of off to the side talking and stuff so it wasn't it's more I would say a lot more lax a little more chill and, yeah it's a little bit more plus it's a lot smaller of an environment yeah it's hard like i remember northwest congress had uh, 10 rings going at once and i was like uh this is why i only show a couple and i'm not really a shower mm -hmm. i i don't mind showing it's just my brain doesn't link with it very well because there's five million things going on and I get really scatterbrained and then Haley's seen me run around like a chicken with my head cut off going, oh my god, that's when you need your team of friends to be like, Raven, yeah. Raven, or they just grab your horses for you. Yeah. Because you're <laughs> like, that's like, that's like, <laughs> that's why I only do customs, like at the at Briar Fest and Briar West, all I did was customs. I think mm -hmm. I had at Briar Fest like a handful yeah. of OFs, but I'm like, small and large customs we're done <laughs> period like that's it that's my main thing i don't have that many like i'm not doing like 80 horses i'm doing like maybe 25 okay like, like i'll bring know. three to a show sometimes and i'm like yeah. make that's sure you don't miss all their classes and it is <laughs> three horses it's ridiculous yeah. yeah no i have to be super super hold on one second gremlin okay. Sorry, I have a dog at the door demanding to meet, yeah. to meet said what puppy. Very he, if I can, I'm just not sure if he's going to, I can. Let me go grab him. Hold on. <laughs> puppy! Just, puppy just wait, wait, wait. I can't wait. I love puppies. Hi, so, puppy. Oh, he's so cute. He's big. I'm pretty sure we're all animal people, so this will work well. Yeah. Hi. Say hi. He's so cute. He's like, I have food or I have food on the desk, so he's gonna be involved. And Grimlin. what breed mix is he? 
he is a husky and German shepherd. He's 50-50. So his mom was a um, German shepherd. His dad was a husky. Can you come and here? And his name is actually Gremlin? No, I call him Gremlin fondly because as a, um adolescent dog, he was every bit of the definition of a gremlin. Um, <laughs> oh, here. Come oh. here. Come here. He's like, no. Um, he is now, he is four and a half. He is a little bit more chill, but his actual name is Jax. And he's right. really good. He's just... <laughs> the chat's freaking out. <laughs> like, he was eating my door. That's why I brought him in. Because I heard him... <laughs> I'm like, no yeah. more, please. Like, but he's because a good boy. I, was... I thought he was going to be, like, bouncing off the camera and on your head. Not yet. Not yet. He, like he's just... He's just come to say hi. This is going to... He'll, you'll see him again. He'll he'll definitely pop his way. <laughs> and Haley has a kitten hiding. Yes, he ran away. Oh, he was a he was afraid. Oh. I could grab the lizard, but he would just be like, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> he gets so mad and disgruntled. Mm -hmm. So funny. Yeah, it's interesting because I never did the the show at Briar Fest. I went in 2015 and I haven't been since. So this will be my only mm -hmm. my second Briar Fest. Um, and I didn't do the show because I heard A, the show is crazy, and B, I'm like, there's already so much to do that yeah. it's hard to fit it all in, right? Yeah, I'm I'm glad because we were gonna do the show and then I think it'll be more fun if we don't have as much yeah. pressure and stress because that whole day is eaten up by the show. Yeah, and now you have on top of all of that the stone stuff going on. So for people trying to do all of the things, like you almost need to break it into a week and a half to do yeah. all the things. Like it's hard when it's stacked because now you're like, do I do this or that? Or do I go here or there? <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. Like the first time I went back to Briarfest, which was, I did the two, what was it, two years of online? They did like the yeah. two and then they back to in person. Um, I did the two and then I've gone every year since they put it back in person. And that first time I went, it was the first since 2009. And I was like, oh my gosh, I was so excited. I got there like a few days early and I was just like, hello, hello, hello. It's like so excited and way too much energy, but I didn't care. I was like, this is so much fun. It's like a whole new me again. I'm like, this is so cool. It's energizing, um, hey? It is. It is insanely energizing, but it's a lot. If you don't like, like know what's going on, you miss a lot that's the biggest thing like you have to kind of keep track of their schedules or whatever schedules you want to do Hi. and kind of line it up buddy he's like my mom you need to see your cute face he's like don't do this to me i did not yeah. choose this <laughs> he's like i'm done but he's cat. I'm definitely a, a funny cat yeah yeah he goes he goes nuts over Alexis's voice, and you can take that <laughs> as you will, because I'm not going to go into further detail on Facebook. Um, yeah. We don't need to be banned on all of our channels. It's fine. Yeah, like I, what what's worked for me, and maybe it's similar for you guys, is kind of picking what I want to do in advance and setting like, this. these are my must-dos, and then everything else can kind of float. Like mm -hmm. I want to, do I want to see the auction? Do I want to do the show? Do I want to do a workshop? Like that kind of determines your times. And when we used to have the tickets for time slots for picking up your special runs, it's like, well, now I have to work around these hard times, which is different now. Does it work better now with how they're doing it? And you can just, yeah. Um, yes. -ish. So no? Last year it downpoured when I went to get all the horses which was amazing for me because there was no line whatsoever so i i had i did pickups for tiffany and i was in one lane and then i had to go to another lane because vip had their own and thank god no one else was there that's all i'm gonna say because it would have been a, a little bit more difficult because like the the what is that the wild cards were in a different line and then VIP was in a different line. And then the normal SRs were in a different line. So it was like kind of chaotic if you're doing pickups. But I was like, pew, pew, pew. And it was awesome. But mm -hmm. this year, 
I'm glad I'm only focusing on me this year because I'm like, nope, we'll yeah. just stand in line, hang out, and it will just talk the entire time. <laughs> Yeah. Pick up are really hard. And I don't know that people necessarily appreciate that. Like when I went to Briarfest, there was Canadians that were like, can you grab these things for me? And I'm like, I do have to limit it because mm -hmm. if it's an SR, I have a ticket time, which is a yeah. little different now. But if it's a limited edition, you're waiting in lines to see if it's even there. They might not have stock. Like when I went, they had the Caves of Las Go Horse and he was okay. selling like hotcakes. So it was trying to find them. Like I did a pickup for someone of one and... Mm -hmm. I was like, I have to get mine first and then I'll see if I can get you one. And if I can get you one, I'll get you one. But it's a lot of extra time. You need the extra tickets. Mm -hmm. You're waiting in hot lines, long lines, you're missing things. And that's like, yeah. when people mark things up, there's that to consider as well. Like obviously in the hobby, Haley and I talked about this just the other day. Sometimes the markups on stuff, like when you were seeing um, Domingo come out, there's people selling them for $350 or more. And it's mm -hmm. kind of dependent on what people want to pay. And there's some yeah. people that don't want to pay the high prices. And they're like, don't charge that. Like, you're being an asshole. You just mm -hmm. got this horse for $120. Bucks. There's additional stuff on top of that, obviously. Yeah. But yeah. they'll only sell it for what the market will pay. So if nobody's paying $350, the price will go down. And there's some people that don't want the fuss of trying to find one. And they're like, okay, I'll pay $350. Yeah, 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 and they don't care. I'm hoping for like that middle ground where like someone's like, "Oh, I've decided like, oh, kind of a deal that like, or I'll trade paint work for it because like I said, like, like there's got to be a middle ground somewhere. Yeah. But and there's a lot of people that support the hobby because they either they don't have support in their family to be doing the hobby stuff, or mm -hmm. they don't have the finances to do the hobby stuff without it. They support their hobby, their collecting, and their passion and their fun and their joy by selling things for a markup. So there's that yeah. too. So mm -hmm. I try and remind people to not be super judgy when it comes up. Cause it's like, if you don't like the price, ignore it. Yep. Like shaming them about it isn't really gonna do much and it'll automatically, the market will self level. It just, some people will get really good deals. Some people will get ripped off cause they just jump too fast. They're like, oh, this is the only time I can get it. And then there'll be the middle ground or you wait a couple months or- Yeah, the Hamiltons. Year at Briar Fest were hotcakes. It was yeah. like they were selling for crazy money. And then the market died down. It was a lot calmer. But it was like, holy moly, you spent what on what? Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, that's it is what it is. I just admire the people who are like, I'm committed. Mm -hmm. That's that's the fun. But I lucked out and got a um deco spayos. So I was like, yay! Cloud nine. Woo! <laughs> Wait, wait. I, ah! <laughs> that was so perfect. Oh my god. <laughs> no, she's she's going through all these special run lines, picking stuff up, and I'm in the tent with mom filling out four hundred and sixty tickets by hand for like three hours. That's a good reminder. We we need a stamp. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Thank you guys so much for trying for that for me. Like Haley, that was like a hero move. Wow. Well, I'd originally sent you money. I was like, can you get me a couple tickets? Because I really want them. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then yeah. the odds are like, yeah, no. You I can know, just donate would... money. It's fine. <laughs> so sad too. Like there was huge disappointment when they called the last one. I think half the people that were there probably donated money for it and like you could hear an audible <gasps> yeah that's so sad but now and then Briar's like yeah no she's punked whatever we don't care because I think Morgan has one of hers Kylie has one of hers and I'm like <sighs> and then Morgan got hers like glossy Bristol I don't even know how she managed that like, what the so sad. It's okay. <laughs> Not everything is fair in love and ponies. Hopefully. <laughs> it's like it's fine. So we'll see. We don't know what the raffle horses are yet, right? As far as I know, no. So it'll pro if well, they don't follow patterns anymore, so I won't even try and guess. And we don't know what the surprise horse would be, but there's lots of people guessing it'll be it's a well, we do know it is a moody mold. 
and it's probably a mare. So succession, make a wish, or um, Marabella would be my guesses. Is strapless moody? Because I know that Darren thought it was strapless. No. Strapless is Sommer. Okay. Um, Like, unless they take the bits off of a boy and make it a girl, which they could do, and they could just totally punk us. I mean... That They're like, fuck, because I'm here. Like, surprise. Yeah. <laughs> they like doing that lately, obviously. Yeah. Honestly, I mean, sometimes it's more interesting to see the variety that they come up with just to, to punk us. Yeah. Well, and they did we- confirm Amy in the chat sa- saying, wait, we know it's a moody mold. And they did confirm mm-hmm. that it was a moody okay. sculpture um, when they were doing all the Briarfest peaks. So we do know that. <laughs> Darren's like, if it's succession, I'm dead. <laughs> It'll be Do so we... cute. I would cry if it's succession. I would be so happy and I will need more tickets because she's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have an Othello in the lineup and they have a mare version of. Oh, good point. Oh. That would that would break a lot of people's brains. That would break a lot of people. <laughs> Othello is a mare. Well, because yeah. they can gender swap, right? Mm-hmm. And we don't well, usually they... think about that. They've got the mold for it because Tilly is a mare yeah. version of Othello, so. Great. Yeah. Oh, dear. We have opened up a can of worms. Start the drama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Darren did say they've been using Othello a ton. They did do the club and they trunk it and but mm-hmm. it happened. Or they could totally punk us. Okay. We're going conspiracy theory. Put your tinfoil hats on. <laughs> They could punk us and they could bring out the Shire Mare. That would be crazy. Oh like my god. The gosh. old school Shire Mare that everybody's been asking about would be an amazing like, surprise horse. And for them to do a new mold, that would be mm-hmm. fantastic. I have party time, right? The or are you talking about uh um vintage? Like the vintage, vintage one. Uh, but yeah, same kind of. Mm-hmm. Because they did the mini version for the ornament this year, so we know it's been yeah. scanned and messed with. That and they be. did they do? I think they did a, a crystal version as well. Mm-hmm. Pure pandemonium. It would be crazy. <laughs> Why is that Katie sticking be... her head in the dryer? I don't understand. <laughs> new sculpture surprise! It could be a new sculpture. That would be the ultimate punk. Is there like? Crazy. I'm waiting for the year where they screw us all over and they're all different molds. Yes, I thought they were going to do that last year. That would have been amazing. That would have been really cool. Because they do the different colors, but they do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Twyla. Hi, Twyla. Twyla is the one that got me into arting in the hobby. So she's oh. like my Haley. Um, <laughs> let's see. Succession and LaFire would be really cute. At, like if they did the pair. That would be super but cool. <laughs> People are like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Briarfest series. Ah! And I always like that's kind of my peak Briarfest moment is there's always so much excitement over the surprise horse mm-hmm. that I really enjoy that part. Like it's it's great meeting people and doing things and seeing the things, but there's like that special sort of excitement of showing up. And I've never done the ninja pit of death, so maybe that'll be a thing I try and we'll see. No, don't do it. Okay. People warned yeah. me I was gonna get stomped yeah. and trampled and yeah. It, it, it has death at the end of it for a reason. Yeah. I'm not <laughs> a small, I'm like Amazonian, so they're not going to stomp me. I have long legs, I'll just giraffe over top of people. Um, but I'll like, be the short person. <laughs> I'll be stomped on, I'll be like, ah, don't, don't, don't do that. That'll be cool. Yeah, so like the first five minutes when everybody gets in and they get to the surprise and then you start seeing pictures pop up and everybody's refreshing online trying to figure out what the heck it is it was painful with the online one because you had to wait but Mm -hmm. i think that's that they leave us with some surprises here and there that is is there any the ninja pit of death this year but we do it as a group so that we can like huddle (laughs) <laughs> we go that bull bum rush the <laughs> just did a line <laughs> yeah like and then all the little ponies will just pull them into our little yeah, orbit yeah, and absorb it like a big blob yes yeah. that would yes. be amazing and all of us need to be wearing gopros <laughs> yeah, yeah just film the entire experience 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, nostalgia moments. Darian's like waiting for model horse plaid pictures. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, I don't want to see the surprise. Rugby scrum is what Twilight's calling it. So same kind of mm-hmm. I like bum rush. We just turn around and like push everybody with our butts. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Laura Rocksmith saying, trust me, you have to watch out for the short folks. Ankle biters, <laughs> I'm very well aware. <laughs> See, in numbers or strengths in numbers. Yeah. Some of us may die. We'll just protect the littles and like the big Amazonian ones will wrap around and we'll be fine. It would be so funny. So what else are you guys looking forward to at Briar Fest specifically? Oh, man. Are there I any workshops you're doing or? Yes, I'm looking almost more forward to the trip going to Briar Fest. <laughs> Epic. Pretty cool. Epic proportion, shenanigans, uh, chaos. Yes. Um, like there's going to be, be awesome. so much like chaos before we even get there. It's going to be crazy. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I, I'll bring it back to what I said last night. It's like totally pushing the friendship. It's like, can I just come live with you? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> there may or may not be shenanigans that happen before we even get there. And I've talked about this before. Um, I don't have a specific date, time, or place for where we'll organize some sort of meeting, but we can all like and Darren's talked about this as well. Um, doing some sort of meetup that's maybe not in association with the the Instagram one. Maybe we'll do something a little bit separate because I don't think Briar's gonna do anything. Um, so I was like, well get people together and then you can all meet me and then I can be overwhelmed at once and then my head <laughs> will pop. <laughs> yeah but we'll maybe do something like that but I'm gonna have um this is gonna get me destroyed don't rush me <laughs> like attack me for free things but I will probably have stuff with me like that might get handed out at some point for various things that we won't talk about just yet so there's that <laughs> I'm hoping I'm like, I want to do fun stuff. things, but I also don't want to be like jumped on and mobbed and yeah, all my stuff stolen. You need a um, what are those like those t-shirt launchers? Then yes. you can fill it with stuff and then yes. God. No, no, you don't get your price here. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> Go over there. We've, we've marked down like a line with caution tape or something. That's right there. If you stand there, you might get something. Just no air this bubble. Do not enter the bubble. Free things do not exist in the bubble. Yeah. <laughs> that would be so funny. But she touched that shirt. Go get it. Fetch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, now, you would see probably some fist fights if you threw, threw some fun stuff in there. You'd be like, okay, we got to record this too. Just like medallions and pokey things, stable mate legs. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, just you. That would be so great. When everybody's in the arena and they're yeah. doing oh the prizes. Yeah. Stuff. That would be so- <laughs> it's glorified Easter egg hunt. Just yes. Oh my yeah. gosh. That would be yeah. so fun. That would actually be really cool to do like little Easter eggs and then have like clues online yeah. and people will go crazy. Yeah. Find the lady with the sham with the two heads. She will give you a quest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I need more, more time to plan. <laughs> that would be so cool, though. We could have everyone going on a giant Easter egg hunt, basically. Yeah. To find, like, some grand prize. Yeah. Mm. That would be fun. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. See, this is why we're not allowed to get together to do this, because it's going to be, right. like, insanity and amazing at the same time. It would be so much fun. Yeah, we will create a grand adventure and it will be <laughs> for the ages. For the ages, it would be. Yes. So, yeah. yeah. So huge um, but what workshops were you guys taking? We got distracted. <laughs> oh. um, I'm doing Darren's Seeing Spots mm-hmm. and Tiffany Purdy's Mini Mains and Tails. Sweet. That'll be fun. And I'm taking, because my blonde hair decided to forget um the I'm like um what did I actually end up getting <laughs> I think I got two I did the yeah, water bases and something else water, yeah the water base is the only one I can remember right now 
So <laughs> there was another one. I'm like, Jeez. I'm doing oh. a thing. <laughs> There's another thing that I'm doing. Obviously, I'm excited for it, but like my brain's like, no. Nah. Oh, the model horse photography. There we go. Because yeah, I'm like, you go. know what? It might be beneficial. I have a light box, but any sometimes it's just like little knowledge tips that everybody has, and you can ask questions and stuff. So I'm like, yeah, maybe, maybe it'd be nice to kind of know what I'm doing instead of like kind of winging it. <laughs> so, so I thought that would be fun. I did miss out on the. Um, other workshop because I totally blonde haired and checked out all at once and so of course it was out within like two seconds so it's like yeah whatever but I'm still excited it's the first time I've done workshops so well, they do well, need to make them a little bigger it feels like because mm -hmm. it feels like there's a lot of people that want to do the workshops especially now and there's not like they if they sell in a minute see I'm thinking they could probably do an online component like mm -hmm. Record yeah. it and sell them or let people audit, yeah. audit and not yeah. participate. Because a lot of people want to see what's going on. But yeah, because honestly, I don't have to sit there and paint. I can, like, I would just love to be a part of it, just see you and talk or like just, just kind of like I see the can hear the artist. <laughs> I just want to be in the same room. Hi. Yeah. yeah. Going? <laughs> I'm going to just absorb your juices. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all I want. That sounds gross. I'll be like in your aura. That's better. Not juices. It's already juicy. <laughs> enough. Okay. Your aura. Yeah, the aura is a little bit less. Yeah, we're all sweaty. It's probably <laughs> yeah. more exact. Like, Briar like fast. Dog. It's gonna be. Everyone's gonna be like three feet, please. Three feet. <laughs> like I don't want to. <laughs> but oh. no, it would be it would be really fun to have Briar just do even that, or they could do like participation and non participation, like. Mm -hmm just throw some chairs around just people who don't want to participate just sit there i would like to judge the participants yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm not so sure <laughs> are you doing this right yeah, How long have you been like doing in the corner that are like i don't think those spots are spotty enough <laughs> yeah <laughs> that opens up a whole new realm of troll the, yeah. like, be like, and then we'll judge the troll for judging the participants. Yeah. <laughs> be like, oh, geez. Maybe no I've comment had, section. <laughs> yeah. I've had people request that I teach them at Briarfest, like do a private mm -hmm. lesson. Oh, and I'm yeah. like, there's a bajillion things going on. I don't think I'll have time. It's like, I will meet you at two o'clock in the morning in the bar if you want. I'm like, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. I'm yeah. one woman in every, like, I've already had people that are like, oh, I'm going to hang out with you the whole time. And I'm like, Bubble. this is going to be very challenging. I have to put, like Alexis does, there's a disclaimer on me for the whole Briar Fest. I might get overwhelmed. I might have to hide. I might not say hi because my brain sees all the things at once with the yeah. ADHD. And it's like, bing, 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 bing. So I, if I'm like, and just... Frozen, <laughs> and people are pushing me on a cart it's because i shut down <laughs> and i'm you not know, being rude i'm, I'm driving i could 100 percent bring a little, little cart and we can like roll you around so, like this is raven's quiet space <laughs> they used to do these frozen statues in the malls with the people and they would yeah. haul them around on the cart we should totally do that yeah. <laughs> She froze in the middle of a thought and like holding oh the briar. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that would be so much fun. You could do living oh. art. Just be like, just, <laughs> just stand there awkwardly for like a couple minutes and see if anybody notice, notices me like this with a pony or something. And, and then see somebody, if oh my God, Raven. And you're like, I'm sorry, she can't talk right now. She shut down. Oh my well, God. Again, more caution tape. We'll just put a caution tape right around you. Danger. Freak out like, Raven. like Raven, yell not friendly like we do for non-dog friendly people. <laughs> yeah. Beware red. of dog. Beware of human. Just put a little red clip in my hair. <laughs> no yes. God. Oh my god. Oh but yeah, like there's so much to do and so many things going on, and I think people get like you get in the space and you kind of take things personally of like, oh, this person didn't say hi or this person wasn't like enthusiastic when they met me. And I have like, face blindness. Like yeah. if I don't see you like and associate, it's 
like I will a little bit, but like I can have people come up to me or I can go into a store and there's 17 people I know in this store. I might not see any one of them. Like yeah. I don't like my brain. So it's yeah. I'm like, hi, if I notice most of the time, I'm like, come say hi to me because I will not see you because I'm overwhelmed. Like I'm not seeing anybody unless you break that dimensional barrier of like not too close, but like I, I walk through the entire Briar Fest. I don't even look at anybody's faces mostly because I'm like too many people. <laughs> I get a little overwhelmed. I do the whole severe anxiety game. I too many people. I'm like nope. Mm-mm. Yeah. Bye. It's like hi. Yeah. <laughs> like I remember going up to some artists in the artisans gallery and I wasn't a big artist at the time and I was like oh hi it's so nice to meet you and they're like who the are you <laughs> well, no, you haven't really kind of met me online and they're like yeah I'm, like, I'm an artist too and they're like uh. <laughs> yeah yeah I I've done that a couple of times where I'm like I know this person but I'm like I don't know if you recognize me but then vice versa like I've come in as the because my region, um, I guess there's not a lot of new showers. So everyone knows everyone. Um, so when I came in to Lake Erie Live last year, everyone was like, I know your name. Like within like the first 10, 15 minutes. Because I'm like the only new person showing or new person in that. So everyone's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I know who you are. And I'm like, I have no idea. Like I met half of these people. Not sure if I'll remember them again after this point because I was like too overwhelmed, but they all knew me. So it's like I know how that is. Like as the flip side, it's like I don't sure. Like like, the little disclaimer of like I might not remember your name or recognize your face, but say (laughs) hi anyway. Don't don't like no hurt feels. Especially because it's just, it's so overwhelming. Like, I don't even remember my name half the time. <laughs> like, I had somebody, when I first showed up to Briar Fest, I was in the lobby eating breakfast. Mm-hmm. And Lindsay Diamond came up and was like, oh my god, Raven! And I'm like, I am not <laughs> on yet. Breakfast, coffee, right here. Coffee. Who are you? What's going on? And, she, and I knew who Liz, Lindsay was, right? Mm-hmm. But we hadn't met in person. And when you've met so many people online and you might have seen their picture, but you don't necessarily associate, like you almost have to talk mm-hmm. to somebody to associate their face with who they are. And then yeah. this is a little different. Like when you live stream as often as I do, people recognize you and they know who you are. And they're like, oh, hi. And the Shane Langbauer found me at Briar Fest and was like, oh my God, Raven, you like, I bought stuff off of you and I know you and let's talk. And I'm like, I'm sorry, <laughs> who are you online? <laughs> what is your pro? Show me your profile. Yeah. Photo profile photo. I'll recognize that, right? <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's just the struggle and it's for everybody. It just makes it easier mm-hmm. if you've seen somebody's face so many times. And then I don't want anybody to feel like I'm either ignoring them or not being mm-hmm. welcoming enough or like they've waited their whole freaking year to come meet you at Briar Fest. And it's like, well, she's a dick. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Meanwhile, my brain's like melting down and I'm thinking about the 10 places I need to be. And then the one chin room I can't remember that has the horse that I want that I'll never find <laughs> it's in a black hole. And then I haven't eaten and I have too much coffee and I spent too much money and oh my God, how am I getting home? Where's my passport? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. all that literally all at once too. And it won't stop. It won't stop because when you figure out one thing, something else takes this place. It's like, oh crap. Like, oh geez. I'm horrible with like, like train of thought. Like I will sit there and talk to you. And then all of a sudden, like in my head, I'll bring like all of a sudden I'll start talking about this and my mom especially will look at me and go we need to backtrack and we need to figure out what are you talking about because you're you just randomly just said what and I'm over here like yeah the butterfly that I found and she's like what even are we talking about I'm like oh remember when we went shopping and we found those little tiny butterflies like together and I was like oh my god these are perfect for horses and I'm gonna get some and she literally is like okay that's good for context clues because like I didn't know what butterfly you found and I'm over here like yeah um okay yeah those butterflies and she's like okay now we can have a conversation (laughs) <laughs> so it's, it's like it's like I'm so sorry 
Yeah. Mine does the linking <laughs> thing too, where it's like, I've connected in the time that somebody's talking to me, my brain's gone ping, 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 yeah. ping, 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 ping. And they're yeah. like, I don't know how you got from here to there. And I'm like, I can explain it, but it's yeah. probably not going to make sense. <laughs> same, same. It's like, I will, sh yeah, it, it will track if I had described the entire process to you, yeah. but yeah, from here to here, no, no logic whatsoever. It's like, what? You, guys, you all should have seen Raven and I yesterday when we were <laughs> testing the stream, it went from talking <laughs> about the stream to talking about politics, back to talking about the stream, back to uh, talking about taxes. Then we went off on the whole Briarfest thing and came back to politics. And then I'm like, it's been three hours. Where did, where did we start? What were we doing? Yeah. Oh, we haven't talked about what we're actually supposed to talk about. And my husband's like, did you die? <laughs> so my mom also messaged me. She's like, let me know when you're done. I'm like, okay. But it's that like friend void of being in the awesome place with the awesome people. And yeah. you just don't think about time. And if you can talk for 10 hours, then you know. You win. <laughs> yeah, you win. <laughs> win, win. High five. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so fun. I definitely feel the Brady Bunch going. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I do it with Alexis getting ready for shows. My mother makes fun of us, but both of us need the motivation of the other person. And we will sit there, did you not, for eight hours and not say anything. It is dead yeah. silence, but knowing the other person is there is like the biggest motivation. Like we're working That's on body doubling. That's an ADHD <laughs> thing. Really? Huh. Oh. Well, I feel like yeah. I'm definitely undiagnosed at this point. There are lots of things that are like lining up and it's like, okay, well, yeah, we're not going to talk about it, but yes. It's okay. We it's hard for people to diagnose women because we, like women and girls show up differently than boys do. And we're uh -huh. very good at masking things. And it just comes out in different ways that people think of as ditzy or like scattered or it's mm -hmm. different. It's different. So, but yeah, yeah. Like, body doubling is totally a thing. Like even having the person on a phone or like yeah. video call and you can just yeah. be silent doing the thing and different things. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, pretty much yeah. what we do. <laughs> like it's like yeah. dead silent and it's like so awkward for anybody else listening, but we're over here having our happy, <laughs> just painting away or doing whatever. I'm going to have to find the Zoom for the FaceTime call record, but it's a nine hour FaceTime call. <laughs> Legitimately, yeah. that whole 10 hour thing you said? It, it was crazy. I don't even, I don't think we talked most of it either. Like, it was just like, this was silent. Most of it was not silence. Like, hmm. or like, so oh bad. my God, look at what I just did. Or, mm -hmm. oh my God, look at this. <laughs> or, shh, I just dropped this. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to look at the damage. You look at it first. Like, yeah. like, <laughs> that kind of stuff happens. <laughs> Just see a horse flying across the screen. Yeah. Well, Haley, Haley's seen some. Uh, I've seen some of Haley's dropping pony moments, and she's seen some of my like, oh, what did just happen? Like, we're, <laughs> I, we're not gonna. I dropped. Yeah. I was talking. I was talking to her, and we were doing one of those things, and I was brushing Ash, and I dropped her directly on the um, two loose points of her tail. I'm like. Yeah. And it just, everything went dead silent. And we're just like, <laughs> do you want to look or do I want to look? Mm -hmm. We've yeah. all had those moments. Like, yeah. so I took a little bit of a break from cleaning biters for a while because I was working on a batch of them and I had four on the go and I was working on them, getting them all diff like cleaned up. And it takes a while. There's a lot of processes, like there's sanding and then more work and then sanding. Mm -hmm. And I went to sand this one and it was the last bit I had to polish before I could wrap it. And its leg went snap. And I went and then threw it across the room. Cause I'm like, I can't mentally handle this. You, and I said many, many things you would have to bleep out on Facebook. <laughs> threw it across the room. It is still laying there. Its leg is off. It's little chunk of mane. And it still stares at me going ah, in like <laughs> retribution for the fact I tossed it across the room so mad and then I'm like I need to step away because especially when you put so much work into something like if it's painted and you break it and it's like yeah are you kidding I me that. and it's usually right before you're done yeah 
Really, really. I have a horse aptly named High Dive because he is not tippy. But the horse next to him that I sat next to was super tippy. And he took a high dive right off the table. And of course, it's the one horse that I don't have over here. Um, it's, a, it's the, well, Haley, Haley knows, uh, Custom Charleston. He's got a... a braided tail and um all this fun stuff but he fell and he snapped the tail like his body color was beautiful I was like oh my god I'm so excited like your dapples are gorgeous like all of this stuff and he just swan dived right off the table and cracked it chipped off a piece of epoxy um in the braided area and then his ear went like smoosh and I was like, no. And I was so sad and devastated. But I'm like, I'm not repainting him because I'm I love his stuff. And he actually was okay. Like, in all honesty, it's not like this like snapped or like the entire thing went to hell heck. Um, um but um but I saved him and I was like, we're shelving you for a while. And I did. I was like, I need to not freak out anymore and tears need to stop coming out of my face before like I worked on you and I did I was able to fix him and he actually does really well at shows but he's named high dive now because he, he did I had to fix his ear and his tail but luckily the tail and mane weren't done so like I could wiggle with it a little bit but I was like no I was devastated yeah. and of course you're really proud the proud ones are usually the ones that swan dive or just so it's like of course yeah take a step back let's cry in the corner and then we'll come back and maybe look at you yeah and then somebody picks up the horse and they're like i wonder if i can throw this across the room and if its legs will break yeah yeah no <clears throat> oh, deep breaths yeah <laughs> no and I yeah so, like we need more art making zoom hangouts and i can fix that yeah. because i pay twenty dollars a month for zoom and i'm not using it so if anyone wants to do more art hangouts yeah. Well, and I think a lot of us, like I've said many times, we're in the same boat. And I think there's a lot of us that are undiagnosed ADHD and stuff where it is like body doubling helps. Like even Bobby in the comments is like, I get so much done watching the streams yeah. because it's that, yeah. like I can hang out and kind of almost have a conversation while I'm typing like back and forth in the chat and you're talking about stuff and I get it because we're speaking the same pony language and like it's energizing. Whereas you go online and you're scrolling, doom scrolling for hours and it just, it sucks your being and yeah. chews it up a little bit. And then mm -hmm. you see asshole trolls. I mean, <laughs> deep hole trolls. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Facebook, you didn't mean it. Didn't mean it. I didn't say the <laughs> S word. Aggressively poke. Um, yeah, aggressively <laughs> But you see those and it's like, oh, or you see somebody attacking like a new artist or being a dink. And it's like, mm, it's, we it's need so, yeah. yeah. And there's a lot of good people out there. And that's what you need to focus on because there's a lot of people out there that are like, yeah, you can do it. And that's what really is heartwarming because like there's a lot more people who will support you usually than like people who are nagging. And honestly, I see people all the time who are users and just there's nasty people but you don't have to stoop to their level and that's the biggest thing is rising above which is yeah. sometimes a challenge but as long as we do it we're better than them well, and look at what you're missing if you let the dinks yeah. win right like there's so much good energizing juju like you could pop into the stream and we're mm -hmm. chatting and laughing like idiots right now <laughs> And be like, this is I like I I get all of this. It makes sense. Maybe I'm undiagnosed ADHD <laughs> too. Like this is body doubling. This is fantastic. We're all the same people. I love yeah. this. Like, what's your favorite mold? Actually, <laughs> but <laughs> like we can right? talk for hours. Like it's already almost an hour and a half. So we should probably think about like wrapping her up at some point. But you have, like, you got half the topics, Raven. Come on. I mean, that's what happens when you're ADHD. You just go, and then you're like, squirrel, bing, squirrel, bing, squirrel. Bing, bing, oh, wait, wait, wait. What about that one up there? I know. I forgot about that. Let's bring that thought back down. Just Haley kidding. Haley laughs all the time for, like, squirrel thoughts, and she's like, oh, there she goes again. Yep. <laughs> yep. I'll oh, get on a topic. I have no even supposed to talk about, because... Right? Yep. Actually. You try. It's a yeah, it's attempt. It's, it's never... You're just ride the wave. <laughs> I just read the wave. It usually crashes on me. Just here for the ride. <laughs> yeah. 
right here. Yep. Yeah. But it is interesting because there's, I think the hobby is very split between the people that are legitimately here to enjoy it and to make friends and have fun and enjoy. And then there's people that take mm -hmm. advantage. And I think that there's a lot of people that are too giving. And there's people mm -hmm. that walk around like wolves in sheep's clothing, mm -hmm. messing with people and using them and trying to get free things. And tr like, I've had my fair share of experiences with it. And I think everybody has. And a lot of times that'll chase people away from the hobby because they get burned so bad because there's like these wolves wandering around in amongst all of us just trying to have a good time and like totally happy to coexist together. And they're yeah. like attacking people and you can't tell you like they all look like sheep. I don't know where the wolf is. Like, yeah. And it's sad and because a lot of them. Yeah, and a lot of people like I've seen are like, oh, they're nice to you. Some like in for show and then like what's what's all this like backhanded kind of commentary like that doesn't need to be but they do it anyways because they somehow like think it's uh you have to be able to see behind the facade and it's very hard until you're like deep enough that you're like oh thank you <laughs> no let me yeah. go but i think yeah. it's good to be at least kind of aware that that exists within the hobby because a lot of people yeah. come in and they get so excited they get pumped up on all the briar fest juju and happy things and they're like i met a new friend this is amazing and you don't even realize you're in the midst of like the crazy until it happens like yeah if you're seeing people and they're talking nasty about others and doing mean things to others and you see them do that to somebody else there's a good chance that they're going to do that to you at some point and so that's usually a red flag and like there's there's stuff to kind of keep out for mm -hmm. but it's just it's unfortunate because i've seen so many people that were good people or talented artists and they're like i'm out like there was some drama at the beginning of the week that had to do with me and there's some grounds for a lot of it right when it comes to biters and how long it's taking to get them out and i've had to come to a lot of terms with in my being that i can't make them go any faster than i'm going because there's a balance between mental health and yeah. everything else. And I think I've explained the situation a five bajillion times and it's shitty. It sucks. It's not the way I would have wanted it to go. I would change it if I could go back, but I can't. And like, that's a lot of my own stuff and how hard and I am. that puts on pressure on you. Yeah. And that makes it harder for you to want to do stuff, which is horrible because it's like, you want to feel the freedom to not like, stress about every everything you do yeah. like and there's accountability to taking people's money too so there's mm -hmm. that component and like had i known things would have been the way they are i would have done them differently and i wouldn't be in this position to begin with but going forward with all the taters and stuff i'm changing things and so i get that there's bad blood and then there's people bringing things in and sometimes it gets taken to a level that gets way out of hand and it's best sometimes as an artist not to participate in any of that. Like I don't read the mm -hmm. comments in those threads or anything because it's, it's too much. Like we're not, we're fragile artist beings too, in a way, right? Like it's hard yeah. to read into stuff, even about other people that you care about and be like, that's not who that person is. And you're, you're lying or like yeah. maybe you're being a dink or whatever. Right. And it's, mm -hmm. it's so hard. And so just navigating things, but anyways, it's just, yeah there's stuff that happens online and sometimes it's trends in the hobby like right now there's a lot of people waiting on a lot of things and it's really starting to stress people out because you have only so much money you want to spend it on stuff and you want to have it and some people want to have it to paint it to sell it or they want to just flip it or whatever and it's hard to sit on that investment and not have it in your hands and sometimes it's abused by people and sometimes so it's hard to tell who's legitimately trying and who's not and, and like it's so muddy of water and I try and like take the best account of people until they obviously say otherwise. Like sometimes it's like, yeah, you had, you had ground to stand on, but maybe you were a bit of a dink. Like, yeah, yeah. that's hard. Totally. Hobby stuff. Uh, oh yeah. There's people talking about how we have like no sales places right now. So there's a new one that Darren posted about the other day. Um, Startapple.com that's going to be like an auction site where you pay. So that'll be a new option. Model horse sales pages is still down because their account was hacked and ransomed. Mm -hmm. 
So they have to start a whole new site to be able to have that up. Model Horse Place can't upgrade their servers unless they make more money. So I think they're asking for donations to be able to upgrade things to run the site better. So we're not operating on a, like a lot of good levels right now. Um, Facebook had the mar had, still has Marketplace and the auction pages, and those get a little hairy at times. But mm -hmm. so many muddy waters. Crazy. I know. And then you have people stealing other people's identities. Oh, I don't know if we can get on that topic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chaos. Chaos. Yeah. Utter chaos. But there's, mm -hmm. yeah, there's a lot of crazy in the hobby. But what are your favorite molds while I was thinking of it? Oh, man. Briar or just in general? Let's do briar specific and then in general if there's one that's not a briar. Or like, yeah. Um, I know there's like so many issues with him, but I love Novelisto D. I don't know why. I think it's just the fun. Like he's just maybe only because they've only done him twice and I'm not yeah. tired of <laughs> Tired of him. But he's just a fun little like absolutely weird kind of pony but he's he's one of my like go-to's but I have so many go-to's so honestly it just depends on the day <laughs> like yeah. Fireheart he's awesome in all the colors so I have a Kingfisher on my shelf so I can appreciate the wonky ones <laughs> See, I love the, just it's just fun sometimes and there's so many horses that Briar has that are so really amazing that, that it's sometimes really hard to choose mm -hmm. very much so Aside from the obvious fire, we're going to put him aside because I don't think it's fair to include him in this. He's the best fire ever made. <laughs> um, I think that the vast majority of people would understand this one. It's Django. There might be. Um, yeah. mm. I sometimes forget about the stable mates and other scales. I think about like the big guys. Yeah, the big guys is usually where I go when my when people ask. I, I did a count before this, including all of the ones that are either in transit or out with artists or out getting repaired or on my workbench. There's 274 of them. Oh my God. That is quite the good thing. They're little and they, I was going to ask if you'd email Briar to ask for the big one yet, but you probably don't need that in your life. No. I, no. so I did, however, have, have um, you guys have been in the collector tent at Briarfest before, right? Mm -hmm. And they have the big banners. There's a Django banner. Mm. I did get ballsy enough to ask them if they would make one and let me buy it. They looked at me very perplexed. They're like, no. Like, <laughs> but but please, what? it'll save me from having to like make my own later on. Like, <laughs> or sell my soul for it when somebody yeah, yeah. manages to put it online. Yeah, that's usually because I, I have the bag and I have yeah. I have all of the ones that come in boxes in a box and out, and I have four complete congas. And like, I'm like, can I just that? It's the last piece of swag I need. Please, <laughs> just let me have it. Why? I have the marketing carousel that they, so like the little banner that used to hang in the stores from the roof with the little yeah. Briar logo with the little spinny cutout huck on it. Yeah, I've got that's one of those. That's awesome. Requirement. But now they're going to do something with Fireheart and I'm going to be like, no! <laughs> <laughs> must, must acquire. Yeah, every time one comes out, I'm like, yay, no! It's like a mixed thing, so... Yeah. But you guys know what I collect. Yeah. I might have <laughs> almost all the hucks. I don't have all of them. I've had to like limit some of them. And even now my brain's like with Fireheart, I'm going to have to start picking favorites at some point. Because yeah. I'm doing so many of them. I'm going to have to stop I somewhere. Know. I know. That's crazy. And then if they <laughs> ever do your favorite mold in the surprise horse, you're extra screwed because it's not just the four variations usually. more There's more. And then yeah. this year for Briar Fest, there's probably going to be some sort of special something because of it being the anniversary. So it'll mm -hmm. be interesting. Dun, dun, dun. I am just waiting for them to screw me with a Best Customs Contest Django. Uh, well, if no. do it, I am going to cry and I will shell out money. If anyone here <laughs> wins, 
when they do a best customs Django, I will pay you any amount of money. Well, here's a blank check. Yeah, I'll write soul on there. Yeah, my soul. Indentured servitude. It's like Haley is no longer Haley. Haley is yours. Oh, just just Erica Ipes in the chat says that they did upgrade MSP. So Model Horse Place has been upgraded and so they should be doing good. So we do have a viable option. Yay! That's good. I missed a whole bunch of chat. I was like, it stopped. And then... Oh, Hi, Jerry. Oh, I missed a whole bunch of chat. Oh my God, why did it not go down? There's a lot. Yeah, five million messages. We have gone for <laughs> almost two hours. Oh wow! <laughs> uh, anything else you guys are looking forward to at Briar Fester? Are we doing the auction? Have you done the auction before? Auction was epic last year. Make sure you get that. We are all going to get there like thirty minutes early though, because the seats fill fast, and you will have to stand on the outside edge and peer over. Well, yeah. we should probably let the bidders be in the middle unless we're planning on bidding on something. Well, there's there's usually like two bidders in person and the rest are online and then everyone else is there watching the auction they go back to their hotel room and they're like no yes. one can hate me from here yes. exactly. they try to report me on youtube because i'm like i get to poke the buy button and they're like you're not allowed to do that and fake up the prices i'm like did you see me click yeah <laughs> if i would have clicked i would have found a way to pay for that because that's obviously i'm i'm a moral human being and i wouldn't mm -hmm. be stuff like that but yeah, yeah, that's gonna be fun. I've never been to the auction, so auction might be fun. I'm not yeah. doing workshops myself. Um, I think my brain's gonna be overloaded as is, but I think it'll be fun. I don't know that there's any. I want to meet Alan. Nah. I want to meet the mini mule, the mule pony. He's gonna yeah. be so fun. Touch his ears. So there were a I lot have of horses in the stables. It was yeah. so cool. The stables are awesome. Mm -hmm. There was a baby so cute. They had a what? They had a little foal. Yeah, it the, was so cute. Camello standard bread, baby. Mm -hmm. God. Um, I have to decide, though, today if I'm doing the online artisan gallery to have like a sales platform because I do plan on bringing horses, like a couple horses to sell, but it's expensive. It's like almost more money than the in-person one, but I didn't want to like miss every dinner and things. It was getting yeah. easy. It's really yeah. hard for artists to be tied down to the artisans gallery because you're not allowed to go anywhere and you have to commit to the whole period. Yeah. And it's like, like for me, I can't sell when I go up mm -hmm. or down. You guys are below us. Yeah. So when I come down, I can't <laughs> sell. Well, it's kind of, is it, it might be actually up in the grand scheme of things because I'm low in Alberta. So when you go across all the way to Kentucky, it might be like not that much lower. But anyways, <laughs> I don't know. When I come <laughs> to the Briar Fest, I can't really sell anything, but yeah, I don't want to be like, even if I was to poke myself at a table and be like, Duke, there's me, I would spin out so bad, but at least people could come and say hi. Yeah, and I don't think I can do the online gallery because I'm going to be at the fest and yeah. I won't have an online yeah. person to do the thing, and I'm not managing. I, that. Yeah, I think that's what I'm doing. I'm not going to go online or in person because it's like then you don't have time to focus on anything else. You're focused on like your page or something like that, and it's more fun to just be in the moment. So I'm like, forget. Yeah. That was if I want to post anything, I'll post something. <laughs> that's about it. Yeah. I might do like a blast of stuff before fest. Yeah. And then maybe a blast of stuff after fest. See, this is why you need me up there to help you. You get all of this stuff done. <laughs> Haley's like, let me come stay with you. I oh. hear you're coming to prep ponies for me. She's like, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, and it should be it should be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. But mm -hmm. I like I feel a little bit bad that I'm not gonna have a lot of stuff to sell at the same time but there's only so much you can do i get to be there you get to meet me yeah and maybe touch me i might be sweaty that's weird 
<laughs> you might want to have that bubble for a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Like, I got one of those hula hoop skirt things. <laughs> that wear on the suspenders so with like the bubble. That, that would be funny. You definitely be if you didn't want uh to attract attention, that is not the way to do it. <laughs> it's even got like the yeah. <laughs> or wear a sumo suit. There you go. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> you can't just... touch me. I have a physical bubble. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, like you should talk about your studio a little bit before yes. we yes well, let us do studio stuff before we decide to run away because we could talk for hours like <laughs> oh man i don't know um Here. i don't know what to what to say much um i'm <laughs> relatively newish to the hobby for customizing so i'm not super and i don't post a lot because i'm a slacker so i apologize <laughs> To everybody <laughs> um but um some of my i did post briar west stuff so that was fun um but um i've done this for what Haley, two and a half years oh i do yeah, have her in person. pretty close so it's been kind of fun so i do have her to show and him or her technically her they're both hers so um i can show you some of them in person but i've been working on i've got a little bit in process but most of my stuff that i'm going to show you is um has been completed before in the last year so kelpie was the one his name is deadly waters he was the one that won i thought reserve champion or section champ in that's first place on the ribbon. I think. So I don't know. The big ribbon at the end, I think, is. But needless to say, Haley said otherwise. But it says reserve on it. Yeah. So he was the surprise. So I had fun. I didn't think I'd get anything. I was really honestly thrilled when he was called. So I was like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is so cool. And Haley's over here like, where have you been? Hello. <laughs> Pay attention. So. So um, it was it was really fun to actually go in such a competitive space because there were a lot of amazing artists. That's High Dive, the one with the little sticker. It's not a great picture, but he's <laughs> um, Oh, yeah, so, intricate braiding. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. you know, those are the best ones to fall off things of and course. break bits. Of course. Yeah, so that, yeah, he definitely took a dive. Um but it was so awesome to see like other people's work in person, like Stephanie's and um, um, Ruth's. So it was really cool to like see your work up there with some really amazing art, other artists. So it was definitely really cool to see, made some new friends there. And I actually think I did overall well, better than I thought. I was coming in thinking, no, <laughs> there's a lot of amazing horses on these tables. There's not, and of course they took I'm a minis person, so like they killed me a little bit when they put minis together with um, the traditionals and the classics. So I was like, yeah. oh man. It can be so really hard it, like, for them to compete. Yeah, it makes it a little tougher. A lot of shows do the them together, but I always love when they are yes. separated. Yes, we had fun. We had a blast. So that was fun. So the studio has still been neglected. Um, so there's a little bit, <laughs> a little bit there. This I'm going to attempt. Oh, North Star Studios is the Facebook page now, but it's going to be changed into North Star Legacy. So I'm going to do some updating on that. So you'll see a name change shortly, but it won't, logo won't change. I'll pop like that. that actually. So <laughs> this lady does really well. So this is a custom Firefly um, result idea. work. So she got a new main a new tail and um i twisted her head a little bit really well she's the one that um got first and second in her class but her shading turned out really really awesomely she of course mm -hmm. suffered a chip and i did not realize it. i have since touched it <laughs> but i love her she's finally done because Haley will attest there are I'm a minis person because minis don't take so long. And my ADHD says your patience level is about here. So, <laughs> so finishing um, 
traditionals is very intense for me. So I, I've got like a handful of traditionals, but most of my stuff is minis and I've got a lot of work cut out for me on the minis department, but I enjoy it a lot. So, so she, her name is finally done, <laughs> <laughs> but she was, uh, lab. but she, she did really well. Um, and that was, that was actually, I think, one of the first two traditionals I started sculpting um, at the same time. The other one did not, it is York and he's right there, but he has not made it to, <laughs> to any sort of succession from his half paint job. And then the Constantia, she was, um, I did her up just paint job, but she was fun. And she's not on the, the studio page very much. I think I did have her listed. I ended up keeping her um because I'm like I, I kind of ended up liking her I wasn't like a super super sold on her at first but then I painted her up I was like okay maybe we'll end up keeping you and since she hasn't really left I've decided to show her <laughs> so she does you need to keep some every once in a while or you regret it like I don't have a lot that I've kept along the way and it's like I've got blank resins but like the customs that I really loved I had to sell and it's like Mm -hmm. They're off in space, and I half of them I don't even know. They never pop up at shows, and they just are in the ether. Yeah, yeah. it it is hard because I'm of course like one of those like it's mine. I like it too much to give it away, so I have to make like five things and Haley will test and to make five things and tell myself you're only allowed to keep one. Like mm -hmm. one, it is. Pick your one, and that's it. So, mm -hmm. um. Haley got one of the last batch, but um, <laughs> doo -doo -doo -doo. kismet. So this is doo -doo -doo. let's bring it better lighting. Um, was my name Opaymo horse that did not end up being finished because life happens and mm -hmm. that is what it is. Um, she I did a lot of different work with her to fix like issue spots that I found. Here, hold on. I so, like the changes a lot. She yeah. she ended up looking a lot better, and of course, as oh, I painted her, yeah. I told Haley, I was like, "Yeah, this one might be the one I end up keeping," because mm -hmm. I was like, "I can I can customize and sell them now." So she ended up staying. So she went to Briar West with me, and she did she did pretty well. She got second in workmanship, so she was fun. Haley did encourage I, me. I got to talk to her at it too and while she's finding her other one I got to talk her at it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> she yeah. did she did con me. She's like you don't want to like, keep those so I will take those. <laughs> you should bring that Django to Briarfest for no particular reason. Yeah. yeah I, no. can, I can bring so many things because I'm not bringing a show string so I can bring <laughs> some stuff to yeah. just show off. So he, the Django was uh, my second pick. I told Haley, I'm like, at least it stays in the family so I can enjoy <laughs> enjoy him. So he doesn't have any pictures, neither does Kismet um, on my studio page, but hopefully we'll, we'll change that. But Haley's posted I'm, pictures of him, just steal her pictures. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I should, I really should, because I'm like, slacker. Um uh, <laughs> Haley will be mad, but like, here is Fabio. Oh, <laughs> like this. She took him. <laughs> okay, so I, I sculpted him. him. Um, so I sculpted him, and I got really, really, really irritated with him for whatever reason. I can't even remember. And she's like, "That's okay. I will take him off your hands." He's mine. And she wants. He's she wants. So now he now he is hers technically, but she wants more of them. And I said I need to have him to sculpt more. And I've slackingly not done that yet. So you said like, I want Flavio back. back. Give him back. <laughs> we are He's watching like, a live in progress kidnapping on the stream. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> He's really happy with like hanging out with no. me. She's like, that's not true. That's it's so not true. Oh. Um, but he he's chilling here for a little bit, but he needs to be sent back to Haley. So, but mm -hmm. I want to I want to show him off. Um, also, another thing I'm doing for Haley because Django's life. Nice. He is. Oh, sorry. Braided. So pretty boy. Uh, don't mind. So me. did you get into model like customizing yourself because you? 
wanted to make things that you couldn't afford or like you just wanted to see if you could or mm, that's a good question so my grandma was the one who pushed um like she's like oh you can like we made like I have actually right here a uh, little saddle she, when I went to visit her she's like look at, I'm gonna try and make a saddle do you want to try and make a saddle with me so like a lot of the stuff was like encouraged by my grandma um, which was, which was cool. So like a little bit of it was like, why don't I try this? And the other part of me is like, I love sculpting and like, I went, I have a BFA in three-dimensional studies. So I went to college for art because I don't know what else to do, kind of deal, but it, it worked out. Um, I enjoy it. Um, so I learned a little bit of stuff and I really, really liked sculpture and clay, like ceramics was I liked making stuff, but like kiln firing and glazing is harder for me. Like mm -hmm. nothing ever glazes right. And, and I'm over gods like to explode things. Yeah. Yeah. And there's nothing worse than like knowing. And I've watched ceramic people. 30 things here. Let's document it before it goes in the kiln mm -hmm. because like these might not make it. And I couldn't. I couldn't do that. <laughs> and the one like jerk piece in the 30 that you just put in the kiln, 29, it might have been fine. And the one explodes and like and then loses itself onto something else. Yep. Yeah. So, so ceramics is not really my deal. So I loved horses, but I never really like, I grew up without horses, but I would um, go and do riding lessons. My mom encouraged like that kind of stuff. So I always loved horses. And I think most of it's just because I want to acquire the horses that I might like be like oh that would be so cool to have this horse or oh and now it's kind of spiraled into like oh my god I just love doing it <laughs> so yeah. so it's been more like I like testing the limits of what I can do like I'm I always like I dabble in a lot of stuff so actually Haley um concreted me more towards the the horse hobby but like I do like resin work jewelry and metals like every everything I have like the studio is full of like so much stuff I have stones galore because like jewelry <laughs> so it's just a lot of like shiny. everything so, <laughs> yeah shiny exactly shiny I have stones purely for like the acquisition part of it there's no no like you probably will never be made into anything but I love you so much so like just like what rocks. But, Taylor likes rocks yeah. too <laughs> yeah so so I love um so I love the 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 funness and especially because our hobby is so vast like I can do fantasy pieces so I can go crazy like I don't have to like it doesn't have to be specific and yeah. it can be like, there's more freedom like, whatever you want to do yeah. Um, whereas some of the other stuff is more like, oh, how can I make it different? Or, or like, oh, I want to try and do drastic instead of, and like, if it's, if it doesn't work out the first time, that's okay. But I'm of course, slightly uh, anal about like OCD about detail work and Haley will be like, it's fine. And I'm over here. Like, it's not okay. <laughs> so she, <laughs> she encourages me to be like, it's okay. You're okay. Like you can be done with this. Well, and a lot of people find the realism and the hyper-realism in the hobby to be very challenging to work with because there's standards that are so high and it can be very, as an artist that wants to do fun, exciting things, it can be very, like a very tight box. Yeah, it, it is. I like the fact that there's a little bit more, like... I'm taking commissions now and I'm working on commissions. So like that puts a little bit of a restraint on my creativity, which will sometimes be like debilitating. Sometimes it's inspiring. It just depends on the, <laughs> the day, but it's fun to have other people's opinions. And it's also fun to see like what they want versus what like you're doing or what you, your capabilities are. And they're like, Oh, I, can you try this? And I'm like, okay, I can try this. <laughs> like, like, I'm going to do it. We're going to attempt it. And so I test out different ways. So it's kind of fun to see like how, like I did mostly pastel in the past, like with after Briarfest. 
in 2009 and I worked did like three or four horses and then it kind of died because I had one of those horses that decided to drop and shatter into a billion pieces it was my favorite horse that I'd ever done and I was like I quit time out like <laughs> I ran away a little bit <laughs> so um so it's it's definitely um been a little bit of a uh like a stepping stone with the airbrushing like Haley brought me back in and airbrushing has been huge because now I'm not having 80 layers of pastel work to deal with. Like airbrushing actually takes it and makes the time a lot faster for me. I can finish with pastels and it still looks really smooth. Usually like I get the right thing, but it's more of a guessing game. And I hope everyone understands, like I am no expert. And I try really hard to get what you want, what I want out of things, but like, we're also riding the wing it train a lot. So, so I think fun. every artist is though. It's nice. Yeah. It's, it's Some fun. And like, make it better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 pretty much. I'm I'm not very good at it. Um, but like seeing everyone with their sculptures and medallions makes me want to um do that kind of thing. So maybe I'll take a step and try that. Um, Julia asks, um, what makes you want to switch from painting just for yourself to because you enjoy it to create other visions? Um, others, it, it's more of like someone asked me, will you do this or could you do this? And I'm like, why not? So I guess it's more of a, like, I like challenging myself. It might not end up re really, really fantastically. Most of the time, like, it's a trial and error, but I like having somebody else be like, oh, maybe I wouldn't have done this. And they're like, would you try this? And it's like, yeah, sure. Like micros, I tell people I'm not, I'm not qualified for micros yet. We'll see. <laughs> They're so small. Um, and I'm like, stable mates are okay, but it's fun to see how everyone's different, like, interpretations. Like, oh, I would have never thought to do this, like, or can you do this kind of a deal. So it's neat to see, like, have people ask things because I might not have already or thought about doing something. So it's kind of a fun to do. And um, I'm trying to think. But I, of course, like the fun, interesting ones, like where I can wing it kind of is my favorite. So yeah. like um, crazy also, hair. Yeah. Crazy hair like Fabio. And like here, example B, um, this is a resculpt Giorgio. Oh, my goodness. Manual. So he's got all the crazy hair. Oh, the hair. That is fantastic. So he's got. And of course, I, I like small details, but not too small because that would be <laughs> that would be an sanity for me so he's got some hearing but you cannot focus it won't focus but kind of um but he's got a lot of detail work on him and he's like one of my favorites and he was like I wasn't gonna keep him because I didn't really love them all and then I started sculpting on him and I was like yay um it's fun when you hack them up sometimes they might not be your favorite mold as they stand but once you start cutting them up, you're like, this is the best thing. Like you make a really good base for awesomeness. Yeah. And that's the crazy part. Like uh, some of my stuff, I think that I like the most is the ones that are like, I don't actually do super, super drastic sometimes. And I just change little bits and they change, they make the horse look completely different. And you're like, oh my God, how cool is this? Like, yeah. for example, um, this is who knows when he'll be done. Um, I like the transformation component too. That's why my yeah. studio. Is so this studio. is an Albarozzo. He will be a Pegasus. Um, but there is a what? lot to go on him. Um, he's so got a stick in his butt. He does have a stick in his butt. It's the whole thing I hold him up. <laughs> he's actually <laughs> not gonna lie, a mini file. <laughs> like I, I was like, because he goes in this piece of foam, so it's like perfect. I just like him, right in. him, so a falling from the sky. Yeah. That's cool. So, so he's gonna be done eventually. I won't say any more than like he's he's a Pegasus, and hopefully, when he's done, he will be awesome. But um, his yeah, mold yeah. didn't change much. Yeah, like I cut his head off and redid his neck, but like his mold, I bent a little bit. But There's the so part, much feel in that hair, though. Like, you're yeah. that's epic. So, so it'll be fun. And I'm testing out new ways because, like, for me, I have a lot of issues with just doing the baking soda and um, super glue mix for like tips of the mm. tape. 
to keep steady. So I'm testing out different things on that. So if I end up keeping that. Have you just used yeah. wire? No, I have wire in the base. But like, I... Because I'll run like a wire and then I build my epoxy tendril over top of the wire. That's how I do yeah. little tiny tips. And that seems to work okay. And then if you need more grip, a little bit of baking soda and super glue on the wire and then it'll stick and it won't go anywhere. But it's usually pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, well, I'm just experimenting with different things because, of course, like, there's wire in here, but then I covered it pretty much all with tape, and then, like, this isn't wire, this isn't wire, this isn't wire. Actually, the middle one is, the tallest one is, but most of these aren't wire, and I'm trying to make sure they're, like, strong enough, so I'm reinforcing, so it's a lot of play. Like I said, he's probably not going to be for sale. He'll be a personal piece, but it's a lot of, like, just winging it kind of a deal we've got lots of winging it art but, is just winging it especially a pegasus you gotta yeah. wing it oh um but like kelpie was another one so yeah he um, being nicer too he got fabio style hair so he got an excessive amount of hair and then did christy freak out of over that when she saw it at briar west yeah yeah <laughs> So totally he upgrade. ended up um, having some fun. So he, I actually played with some clear resins and stuff for water drips yeah. coming off of him. That's and cool. sorry, my camera can't focus. Apparently wants to focus on me. There you go. Um, but he was fun. Um, so, so I, uh, Haley wants to steal him, but right now he is, a, <laughs> yeah, he is a, He's living here with me, so Haley's like, please, 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 and I'm like, no, not yet. Um, <laughs> she's like, I will wear you down. <laughs> uh, but no, I enjoy, I enjoy the fun fantasy pieces sometimes because it's like there's no, there's no rules, so like it, it breaks me away from like, oh my gosh, this is like proportional or all the legitimized sculpting world horse hoopla so it's fun to it's fun to do the experimental stuff i'm thinking about doing uh things that go bump in the night um kind of thing where, that would like, be fun horses that like are spooky or or just fun little like like the kelpie and the pegasus kind of a deal. i've got a couple in my head that would be kind of fun to do so we'll see how that goes but i've also got some drastic if she ever gets done ah, um, drastic traditional cool. that one needed to be hacked up i'm glad that's exciting yeah yeah so i've got a long way to go but she's she's there <laughs> she's here she's riding but yeah it's just sometimes like i hit reps and then you don't want to um work on stuff and then you switch so there's a lot of things that are in process like swimming arabian hopefully will oh, cool. be done eventually well and all the like clear resins and stuff are really cool to play with especially when you get mm -hmm. the uv cure stuff because you can do really yeah. neat drips and that's awesome stuff. the uv um resin is what i did for the um kelpie so yeah. that was that was pretty cool so and kelpie has a really cool base um which i had fun with too don't mind the, the fuzzies but so yeah. i did that that's so cool Base for Kelpie. I like I the like to... foggy. Yeah. Oh, so. <laughs> your on that base. It is incredible. Yeah. So, and I'm thinking about doing bases, but like so many things. And Have then, you like, okay? Time. I can't remember. I can't remember the name of the lady that did them. There was when I first started in the hobby. There was epic water bases. Like, it mm -hmm. would be a chunk of the ocean coming up oh. to, like, the beach. And then you'd see fish and stuff in the water and, like, crazy effects. And yeah. if you would delve into, like, other hobbies and things, they do stuff like that for all sorts of dioramas. And, like, a lot of the resin artists are starting to get into doing really cool setups. But stuff like yeah. that just blows my mind. It's insane. Yeah. I'm, um, I do follow like some miniature people that do that kind of thing. And it's just sometimes, especially like you said, the train happy, there is like, they do these whole setups for the yeah. train. And it's like, this thing's amazing. Yeah. Um, and, and like the little like 
army man and they set up whole little dioramas that are really impressive so of course i'm i'm on facebook saving all these videos like oh my god maybe i can apply this to ponies <laughs> kind of mm -hmm. a deal so that's fun um which is which is always interesting to see how see how the the hobbies blend and like cosplay and um and the modeling from like D D and stuff like all these different hobbies i Cross save pollination. everything yeah right. yeah i see i see something i'm like oh I could maybe use that, save it. I'm like, I don't even know if it's really horse related, but I could. Like I've got I this thing in my brain where I'm like, I must try it. <laughs> That's and usually what happens. You're primarily airbrushed for painting right now, right? Um, I do a mix. Like, okay, the, like mix pastels the and base, yeah. So like base coats, like this is rewind. Um, he's a resculpt, but his paint job was nine well, nine. Uh, pretty much 100 percent airbrush so mm -hmm. that was all airbrush whereas like the dejang not the dejang it was the um like this guy his base coat was in airbrush so like the trotter um where i just base coat like highs and low areas and then i went back in with pastels and um, pencils and everything under the sun for him and each um, medium has its own benefit to yeah. what kind of does better. And each artist has a different way of using it that kind of does different things. So it's kind of, there's not really, you'll get people that ask like, what's the best one? And it's like, it's not, there's not a best. There's just yeah. different and different ways of using those things. And it, it really is crazy how like some days I'm like amazing at airbrushing and other days I am epically failing at airbrushing like like you think you have your stuff together and then like it laughs at you whatever you're doing whether it's like pastel work um like this guy was pretty much this is all pastel work oh wow so um except for the white markings obviously i started white marking in because i'm cheating um but he's still got layers and layers and layers to go but it takes a long a long time to do pastel work sometimes that's why i cheat and cut corners and try and do base coats and airbrushing but that's had Haley not shown me how to airbrush i would have been probably not anywhere close to any of this because pasteling like is insanely long and difficult so people who solely pastel we need instant to gratification. This <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. I need instant gratification <laughs> so bad. So, well, that's yeah, the thing with my... Sorry. Oh, sorry. I was just reading Keeney's comment. <laughs> oh, that's not good. We've had a lot of people ask questions in the comments, but we're not going to be yeah. able to get to all of it because we'll have to do Haley's studio stuff and then get out of here. But maybe I'll we'll have you guys that. back and we'll do a question and answer thing because we kind of yeah. didn't pose it as that, but that'd be kind of fun. Um, that would be fun. But Haley mentioned this the other day, and you've kind of brought it up again, so I want to touch on it. There's a idea that the artists that are at the top, just everything's magic. They don't second guess themselves. They don't have those moments where their stuff looks like crap and they want to throw it out. Mm -hmm. Even just the other day, I started sculpting something. And I was like, do I even know how to sculpt? Like, what is this? This is garbage. <laughs> like, I should just quit now. It's terrible. Yeah. And it's the difference between knowing how to ride that out and knowing mm -hmm. that sometimes, even if you ride it out, it's not necessarily going to work out, but most of the time it will. Like there's still mm -hmm. stuff now that I'll make and I'll get to a certain point and I have to throw it away. Cause it's yeah. just, you got to go in the wood chipper. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's a sacrifice. You're like, Oh no, we're going to just, Take one yeah, but I think like the feeling, like get people get that feeling when they're starting out and even once they've got like some wins under their belt and they're feeling like they're doing really good, but they're like, I still feel like a fake. That imposter syndrome thing is driving me nuts, but it doesn't go away. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't go away. I'm over here good. like, oh, sorry. It's okay. I was going to just show the other side of the dapple gray. For example, I got impatient and I started doing white marking so I knew what I didn't have to <laughs> finished dappling on this guy so this is the side that like it's a hot mess and 100 percent a hot mess and you know it and you look at it and you go oh my god and then you look at the other side and you go how did it get to this and you're like do you just pray and you keep doing it until <laughs> and that's pretty much 
want you to do. You keep Light doing it incense. until yeah, you pray. You're like, okay, I'm going to blend this out a little bit more. And and then you get from this side where you're like, I think I just oh a bunch of circles that look really, really like obnoxiously disgusting into like something that actually doesn't like look that bad. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so proud of myself. Look at those dapples. So it's, it's really like, uh, it's like, guessing game i i just ride the train a lot and and hope eventually it gets to where i want it to be or like you said bye yeah. that's what <laughs> we all do like it's it, people think that we just poop art and it it no <laughs> there's still <laughs> the second guessing of like the phases of this is crap like you'll see actually kylie post a lot about how like it's not easy there's a lot mm -hmm. of struggle and like, do I want to do this? Should I just do the stuff I want to do and not the stuff everybody's asking me to do? And like, there's so many pulls and things as the artist, but. Yeah, there's a lot going on <laughs> all the time. <laughs> yeah. Everywhere. That's it. Cool. Well, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah. Alexis, you said people can find you on Facebook. Let me put that page. Yeah, back. Facebook and Instagram. I do. I don't post a lot. I need to really work on that. Um, right now it's North Star Studios. It's going to be North Star Legacy very soon. Okay. So I'll just um, post. I'll teach you how to link. Page. Mm -hmm. Alexis, I'll yeah. teach you how to link your and Facebook Alexis posts. So they go Stop. to Instagram automatically. So you get posts up there all the time. <laughs> yeah that makes it so much easier when it's linked and you can just post one yeah. place and it posts both places so i'll have to do that magic juju something hey like i will teach you all <laughs> yes do the thing you have a very good mentor thank you Haley, for yeah. pushing her to do more yeah. hobby stuff because Haley we wouldn't want to miss all the good talent we have to support each other especially oh, no. through the like i'm a failure i'm a fraud <laughs> every every couple days yeah <laughs> every yeah. couple days it's like Pretty kaylee's cool. like you got this we got this or uh, or vice versa when she made me come on her studio page she's like we're doing this you're gonna do it we gotta like encourage me it's like yeah. i can do that i can i can promote Haley all day yeah i have a hard time talking about myself <laughs> Yeah, we come to the table with different like energy levels and in different places. Like we might be mm -hmm. super pumped because we're working on something, and then the other person's like, "Oh my god, my work is crap." And we can kind of bring each yeah. other up. Not saying that one brings the other down, but you like bring each other up and like get excited, and because we're never going to be at a hundred percent all the time. Mm -hmm. But this yeah. stuff helps. Your puppy's yeah. like, "Hi." <laughs> he's somewhere. He's. He's itching yeah. himself right now, which is the, the <laughs> he's like, I got an itch. Yeah. Cool. That's awesome. Well, we will take a peek at your studio and I have to have you back for question and answer, but we'll yeah. do some of Haley's stuff and she gets to show some stuff off. I'm going to swap you guys places. Ka-chow. Oh, okay. Don't make it fast. I'll put your Facebook page. Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's wild. There you go. It's unorganized. I apologize. There's a lot of random stuff on there. <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah, I I did this when we did the whole stream last time. But hello, <laughs> I'm Haley of HN Studios. I have been running the studio for about four years now. Oh, you got the wrong one. Oh, you know what that one? I don't. <laughs> okay. Hold I used on. To We'll do back. I used to use that one, but it um there was tax issues and I just that one. There you go. Okay. Um I use personal Facebook for for it. So I'm Haley of HN Studios, running the studio for about four years now. Um some of the fun things happening. I just put out a medallion one Wednesday. You'll have to yeah, there, right there. Ah. Um oh. Yes, Theodore, I would have the artist proof copy here, but um, I put him in my curio cabinet attached to the wall with double sided tape and it won't come off. Um, he is forever stuck up there. So he just, he just got his release with unpainted castings the other day. So that was totally fun. Thank you, Raven, so much for being so supportive and so helpful through all of that crazy. Um, I had to do it. 
I get it. Um, so that was, that was super fun. There was a lot of new things, making molds, casting resins, and my brain exploded a couple times and then the painted one and it just, but we survived and I don't know how you're doing it for the club and fighter and <laughs> living the life. Yeah. Too many. Oh my God. Um, like Alexis was saying, we've been friends since pretty much the start. She's awesome. I can say so many nice things about her. Um, and then, yeah, I met, of course, Raven for the Sculpting a Soulful Seed class. So I do stand by that being the best thing I have done in this hobby. Because not only did I get to learn so many sculptural things and so much awesome, but I made two amazing friends out of that. Um, so it's, it's been a fun road. There's been some bumps, but it is, we're here, happy. Can you ask for more? Um, gonna go into motivational speaker. I do this for the streams. It's horrible. <laughs> I, 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 I Tell me about it. <laughs> I don't know how you do this and do it coherently. Um, I brought a couple things up here. Um, Alexis did have me beat for sheer total. She has so many incredible things. Oh. Um, I only brought a couple. Where else? <laughs> um, so this is Ash. You've heard me mm -hmm. talk about her. So she is a very big passion project, or was a very big passion project of mine. She was done in a very hard time in my life. We lost both of our dogs four months apart. Um, one of them was my in-training service dog, and it just, very difficult. So she was sculpted to embody the struggle and the pain and the fear and also the flip side of the perseverance and strength and hope and love. And so she was a very hard project to work on. She almost didn't get finished, but she's here. She went to Briar West with me and managed to take first in workmanship, which made me cry. Um, like I said, that is when my facade dropped and I just started crying about everything. <laughs> it was an overwhelming day. So she, I am very much in love with her. She was done off of Maureen Love's classic, um, Mustang Mare. I have one of them getting hacked up too. Well, um, those special horses that have so much of your energy and emotion and self put into them, it, it just hits differently when you make them, the process of making them, when you complete them, and then if they go out into the world and they, they win things, it's just a different level. There's no comparison. I know. There's, there's so many pieces that I do that are, like, tailored to what the hobby wants. And to, to do one that, like, there were no boundaries... <laughs> Care if people like her, people don't like her. It's like it was just something that I could do that would give my emotions a place to escape. I needed somewhere they could go that wasn't me because they would have crushed me. Mm. Um, try not mm. to cry. It's okay. It's a safe space. We love you. <laughs> not helping. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. It but hard. I, I needed, I needed that space where I could let them go, and I knew they were still gonna be there. And it sounds so stupid, but they were still gonna be there. But I didn't have to carry them, and that was her. She will never leave me. I am. Oh God, I'm, I don't <laughs> I'm, I'm the crybaby. You know this, so just. I do know that. Um, so we'll move away from the sad pony before I start bawling. Um, we have a couple work in progress ponies as well. I'm sure you've seen this one on Raven's page. Um, so thank you for that. I forgot to thank you for that. Oh. Um, 
so this is the baby hair stuff as it comes out but i'm not always very good at that and i don't want people to feel left out but it's hard to and then facebook won't actually let me share stuff direct from facebook to my page now oh yeah that's rude mm -hmm. Like, so now my ADHD has to hang on long enough to remember to copy the link and then go back to the page. Like I have to almost message my, yeah, it's bad. Anyway. Oh, that's <laughs> um, <laughs> the little baby scooch, my favorite full sculpture ever. So many legs. Um, this one is getting all of his details now. Um, the I don't know how I pulled off the blue eyes on this one. I'll never be able to recreate it. It is. You did a really good so job. I was thrilled. And then Darren's Patreon has been a huge help for do, uh, learning new techniques for pinking. If you notice with the hair, there's new. Oh, nice. Techniques. Yeah. How many videos does she have up? I oh, She God. needs to promote that more. Yeah, there is a lot on there. Yeah, that's exciting. Uh, that's awesome. And then doing just a bunch of hair by hair marking edges. We have probably about six or seven more hours and we'll be done. It's so close. So exciting. Uh, I love his little, it was so fun to sculpt like the scrambling legs. Cause you have to, for me, I have to like feel it. Mm -hmm. So I was like all little, he's like, I'm getting out of here. And his legs are not listening. And they're like, <laughs> you can totally see that in that. He's like, <laughs> like I just this looked on the eye like, catch. <laughs> just cool. focus. Come on, work legs. <laughs> so cute. It was so cute. I was so sad that I didn't get one when you released them, but I don't make money in summer right now. So I was like, mm -hmm. um, but I have to thank Michelle. She came to me. She's like, I'll trade you for classes. I'm like, yes. <laughs> Scooch for classes, I'll do that. Come hang out with me. <laughs> um, Basically. That was really awesome. I was gonna I was gonna paint him, do a partial trade for a blind, kinda it's not gonna happen. He's mine. He doesn't get to leave. <laughs> Too cute. He's so cute. Um there's a couple I have two finished ones here as well, and then a work in progress and and then I'll make this quick. I'll make this quick. So one of the other more recently finished ones is Alexis's favorite. Um, yes. This is the resculpted Yorg. Chunky boy. Is I'm seeing um, some commonalities in the hair doings. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, they were done separately. <laughs> oh. So this I guy like is creative yeah. mind meld thing we all have going on right it is, it is, it is the collective hive mind of artists mm -hmm. um so he i did his resculpt work as well i missed a couple of things but so the braiding on his mane and then i kept his original tail but added lattice work mm -hmm. on that so that was kind of a fun thing to just poke around with and then he's done okay. as a dappled well you can you can see it on camera for once finally so glowy <laughs> too mm -hmm. sealer i guarantee you it's a sealer sometimes testers works and it is gorgeous and sometimes it's like no mm -hmm. i will attest to that testers is as you will attest to the yeah i will attest to tester <laughs> being so circle i'll get out yeah he glows. He does in person too. It's like there is this mm. beautiful. It's like. I like. Are you guys like, seeing the chat? This is like <laughs> the sweet Caroline of the hobby. You put up a draft, and people are like, "Chunky boy, second <laughs> 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 chunker." <laughs> oh my god! I should have named him that. I I have a coffee addiction, and I won't <laughs> lie about that. I have. A total of nine horses named after coffee. I cannot <laughs> stay away from iced coffees. So, like, I got a medallion from Darren. It is iced caramel macchiato. He is iced cold brew. Um, <laughs> like we. I have these to send to you. Oh, yeah. Man. They're little pop versions. Are they good? They look amazing. 
My mom, actually, I'm not even going to get any. My mother's going to take those from me. Coffee crisps are epic. I need them all. Onion crack. <laughs> yeah. Um. So in light of trying to not make <laughs> we're going to get to three hours. We're yeah. breaking records <laughs> to comments, though, Raven. What? We're breaking records on comment uh, oh. numbers, though, so... Fine. Um, Arizona Black can go for like two hours. We're fine. <laughs> as long as somebody's watching, right? Even if they're not, we're having fun. It's all sure. good. Who <laughs> cares at this point? <laughs> um, this is an Emerson. I actually had a question mm-hmm. on what this was the other day because his face has been so drastically. So we're getting Beak Swish. Yeah. And then I put out a poll on Instagram and Facebook on main options between button braids and the loose mane. And it was loose mane. <laughs> uh, and then yeah, we're getting we're getting new face with the the intended expression is he is just about to like nicker at something. Mm. <laughs> So he's, kind of like, he's just about to poop. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> it could just be gas. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And that's what you name him. <laughs> it be gas. It be gas. It oh my god. Oh my god. Well, the tail. <laughs> I think the tail is <laughs> <laughs> like that was a stinker. Sorry, <laughs> and that's what Scuttle's running from. <laughs> you can totally do a whole scene. Oh my god! Yes. Sorry, I didn't mean to ruin your pony. No, this is perfect. I have a name now. Thank you. And you have a story. Even and better, you can actually make like a story about it. I do. This is perfect. <laughs> I'm so. Thank you. <laughs> the chat's dying. <laughs> it is crying. Everyone's losing it. I can hear. I can hear <laughs> the tail now. <laughs> We've moved past just feeling things. We can now hear them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Oh, my God. <laughs> like turbulence. Exactly. <laughs> That was great. Oh, you see why we couldn't keep ourselves together in at Briar West? You were making so much fun of us, but oh my gosh, that was so, yeah, yeah. It's so much fun. It, it literally <laughs> starts here and then it goes. <laughs> like, whoops! I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and then Tommy walks into the chat like, what is going on? Your best friend is going to be joined. They're going to be like, what the hell? Don't, don't mind us. <laughs> That's like some of my core memories are just laughing so much it hurts with good friends. Yeah. And like stupid horse stuff makes it better. <laughs> yes. yes. Especially when we can narrate stories about a horse who is not even done sculpting. We're like, here you go. <laughs> it's just <laughs> it's okay we we know him we know him like yeah. you don't know him yet <laughs> let yeah. us introduce you <laughs> yeah I, oh. I will not ever look at him the same now <laughs> no <laughs> I won't <laughs> no. Wow. and then the word like you just devolve more and more over time and then it's just you can't even say anything or look at anything or look at each other because you cry <laughs> It's like oops. Yeah. So you're saying you had people vote on his hair and <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna leave him alone now. Um <laughs> to have his, you know, <laughs> moment. Um <laughs> his moment. Yeah. I pulled out a couple other things also the I'm gonna try it. Your internet is not cooperating. It is like, like, nope. You're frozen. There you go. Oh, I can see you now. It's just kind of blurry. I don't know why it's not being nice. 
I was doing the same thing to Alexis. It's so pretty. Mm-hmm. I recognize that one. Yes. <laughs> you can have money. <laughs> we enable. <laughs> Boo hoo, yeah. Actually, the cyclone. Would it be like ponabling? Ponabling? <laughs> yes. Ponyabling? 100%. I <laughs> um, got to and he's actually going to his new home when Holly comes up to the show. Ooh, very exciting. Okay, yeah. Because your show is this weekend? Next week, like this coming weekend. Yeah, this coming weekend. Obviously, not right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's exciting. It starts Friday. Yeah, it goes to Sunday. Three days of crazy. It is exciting. Um, and then I have something I can peek. Ooh. I'll cover this. It's the bandana from yesterday that everyone likes so much. A struggle. Come on, camera. You can do it. Am I still here? You it's are. choppy, but you're here. So I don't good. know why the cameras are deciding to. They only they only work when they're over here. <laughs> Maybe if I. Well, well, we're not a main attraction. <laughs> I'm gonna try okay. and play mm-hmm. musical people. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no. Okay. It's well, clearing up bad. as you're hanging out, so we'll try. You get a switch that much. What? That's all we get. What? That is not a peak. Is this how people feel? Yes. This is how people feel, Raven. (laughs) Well, I can't see their face, so. (laughs) Here, I'll go. (laughs) Make space instead. (laughs) Imaginary horse face. Imaginary I, feel, I feel like gypped. <laughs> I feel gypped. I want a refund. Give me my money back. <laughs> I'm going on the transaction board and telling you. Yeah. Tell the whole horse. Haley promised us great okay. things and I am not saying that. <laughs> yeah, this is exactly how we feel though when you're like, look at this. You can't see oh, most of it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like here's just a teeny tiny bit. Like yeah. a hoof. Yeah. <laughs> the rest of it exists. You just can't see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my and God. The, the final kind of studio thing are these because I do I do have permission to talk about these. Just saying. Prairie Rose by Daniel Horses. Ooh. And I are collaborating on paintwork, so I am painting a run of five eight scale prairie rose. So I can there's multiples over here. Um, That's super exciting. I was thrilled. She reached out and asked me about it. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Like this is gonna be a blast. And then she let me pick four. It was incredible. Whoa. And I, I picked Prairie Rose specifically because she was Rachel Lane's first sculpture. And I figured, well, if we're going to do Danielle, and I figured, well, if we're going to do the first sculpture from Rachel, like, this sounds fun. Mm-hmm. So, be available from her at mm-hmm. some point when I get them done. The goal is to have the five of them done and Danielle for Briarfest and drop in Briarfest. Very so. cool. That would actually be a really good timing. Yeah, I thought so. I, I don't know if she's doing, like, wants to put them in a room sale or if she's doing online. We haven't talked about that. I told her she can do what she wants. I'm good with anything. Sweet. That's what's going on over here. Other than that, we are panic prepping for the show. Like, five days. You should talk um, about that. Yeah, talk about that for a minute. So I host, between my mother and I, we host the live show On the Edge Live. It is in Parker, Arizona for three days. So the 19th to the 21st of April, for this year at least, it is hosted at the Blue 
water resort and casino. So we have it hosted at this massive, gorgeous resort. Um, we've got a huge room with tons of space for, like, it is, if I had to guess, it's probably two-thirds of the size of Briarfest's show hall. Um, we also have a ton of amazing spo studio sponsors this year. Mm -hmm. So um, <laughs> that would be Holly um, Mullen, who is sponsoring. Raven is sponsoring as well. Thank you. Second year in a row. Money. Money. So those are some photos from last year where you're scrolled down to now. Mm. Um, yeah, there's some actual. That's a trippy carpet. Uh, yeah. Well, we have to keep the class vibe. Um, so yeah, we're very, very excited. We just had the photo show. Uh, I just judged that the other day. So there was a photo show component to the event as well, where you could enter photos for all of the sponsors. So actually, Raven won that. Congratulations. I didn't know um, I didn't know so Julia Turner won with her painted copy of the Bitey Boys, Dust Devils, painted by Darren, actually. Everyone wins here. Mm -hmm. So because it was Raven's sponsor class, there they are. These guys. Because it was Raven's sponsor class, she also wins. <laughs> um, I want to think bingo! <laughs> <laughs> there were tons of entries for that. We were so excited. It's been so crazy leading up to it. We're... Now NAN qualified, we got our NAN cards in, same as last year, Western Conference. All of those cards are in. We've got our ribbons, our rosettes. I push to have sat, like legitimate satin ribbons and satin rosettes. Um, we are so excited, and it is crazy that that is next week. I It was a year ago yesterday. Oh, I just Mind blown. Fun. Oh, crap. I... Like, excuse me. Oh, I just oh. excused myself. I lost myself. Hold on. Can you hear me still? I can hear you, but you're frozen. Uh, Wait, we're uh, doing yeah. the game. Ah, I don't know what Preparing I did. Oh. <laughs> don't mind me. Oh, my gosh. Here. What did I just do? Hold on. If I punt you out, maybe it'll work. Oh, now everybody's frozen. Okay. Oh, hey, it's all right. I'm still here. I'm just being. <laughs> there we go. go. I get it. I got it. My, my phone literally went, I'm going to notify you of something. And then I went to go go away. And it went, boom, everything's gone. <laughs> the processors were like, there you know, yeah. three hours. No, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a little salty, but it is yep. what it is. <laughs> so that's, I'm wrapped up. I, I'm not taking any more time because we are at. Almost. So if people want to come visit and they are around Arizona, mm -hmm. it will be Friday, Saturday, and okay. Sunday? No. Okay. So, so it is hosted at, uh, again, the Blue Water Resort and Casino in Parker, Arizona. The reason the show is called On the Edge Live is we are on the edge of California and Arizona. The show hall is on the Colorado River, which is the divide between California and Arizona. So you've kind of got a little bit more play with who can come down and who's got an easier drive. So, but yeah, if you're in Arizona or California and you want to come hang out, we actually, we will be taking on-site registration and we do still have online registration open too, even though we're down to the wire. So nice. come out and bring your ponies. Mm -hmm. We have judges flying in and flying and driving in from all over the United States. We have a tech and IT crew coming in from Utah. We have an MC coming in from Canada, a volunteer coming in from Canada. So it's big international awesomeness. So very yeah. Exciting. Well, that'll be fun if people want to see all the stuff in person and go to a model horse show. We don't have any here until July. So, ah, crazy. We used to have crazy. a spring show, but it is no longer running, but that's okay. It'll happen. 
at some point. Cool. Well, that's exciting. Thank you guys for coming to do the stream and chatting and having fun. And I know yeah. we've taken a long time and people still want questions answered, but <laughs> we do have to wrap it at some point or we're going to go for 5 million more hours. Yeah. Uh, yeah, really. <laughs> and then, yeah. So there's other people that are asking, like, how do you get on the stream? Message me and we can chat. Like, I'm open to anybody coming on and chatting hobby stuff. It doesn't always have to be me just talking in front of the camera every time. It's actually way more fun for me if, if there's other people talking about stuff. Like, we had a really good conversation, I think. Yeah, it was lots of fun. And so excited for Briarfest! Ah! If I do ah! this fast enough, will I fly? <laughs> Riley! Riley. <laughs> I have to catch you. That's why her name's called Raven. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was fun. The puppy yeah. wiggles of sharing an awesome thing with awesome people is cool. I'm very honored and happy to know you guys, and I'm excited to do more Briar Festy things. And you yeah. have to show me all the other things that you're doing, Alexis. Yes, all the I fun. See all the resins and the crystals and stuff. Oh yeah, all the way in the back. We're getting there. <laughs> I've got <laughs> I've got a whole cabinet full of blank resins. Yeah, most five small. years later. <laughs> really, <laughs> there has never been a more accurate like SpongeBob. Well, there's a lot, but like that especially. It's like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And Haley's it. like, I haven't slept, so we could just keep going, and then I just won't sleep. <laughs> Be fine. <laughs> It's just slow battery. So. <laughs> <You're scared. laughs> <laughs> we just keep going. Eventually, she wakes up again, like the you know the dog <laughs> meme where it's like <laughs> it's all like discombobulated. You just see Haley rise up and like what's happening? Oh, they're still talking. Okay, <laughs> I can go back. <laughs> Sweet. Oh my gosh. Cold yeah. beans. Well, if you, for people that are interested in doing this stream, I see that there's a few of you in the chat. Just send me an email to the Chrysalis email or hop on the website and hit the contact page. Um, let me know. And then I'm open to pretty much anybody. We've had a few different people on, but yeah. Even if you're not an artist, particularly in the hobby, if you're a collector and you just want to chat ponies for a bit, we can do that too. It's kind of fun. Because um, I don't know. Recommend. Out of 10, maybe fun, not as scary as you thought it would be. 100% fun. <laughs> I, I just gotta watch, like Haley knows. Mm -hmm. I gotta I watch me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I always feel. I'm like babysitting myself. And turn, no, no, drop it. Don't do <laughs> that. <laughs> There's like a no, you gotta watch it. Gotta okay. watch it. Yeah, be like, oh <laughs> man, backtrack, backtrack. Yeah. They don't understand where that thought came from, and out of context, it's bad. Yes. You gotta yes. go back and fix it. <laughs> Haley knows out of context. Oh my gosh, I I have had so many stories I will share well with you in person because this some of this does not need to be streamed. But Haley will Haley knows like I say stuff, and then I'm like, it in my head it makes sense because like I have background information and maybe other people don't and then when i say it out loud they're like hold up hold <laughs> up hold up what did you just say should i be like concerned and it's like oh no 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 it's it's completely okay it's just not not exactly how i meant to phrase that but it's too late everyone makes fun of it amy's saying put down the bad decisions bagel put it down drop yes. it <laughs> no it's mine <laughs> what if it's my favorite flavor <laughs> with <laughs> cookies? Everything oh, bagel. It's an everything bagel. Yeah, this is a bad decision. It's everything bagel. Okay. On that note, we will <laughs> <laughs> proceed with our Sunday. Hopefully, not eating the bad decisions bagel that has been on the floor for longer than five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> no promises. <laughs> promises. I'm not so sure it'll work like that. I try. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, thank you again, ladies. Thanks everybody in the chat and who's been watching or watches in the future at some point. Who knows? But this is like forever. So uh -huh. <laughs> good luck. Good Put luck. it on. Be the third person. Yeah. Check out uh if you haven't already, our special guests' names are in the banner at the bottom and their studios, although Alexis is North Star 
legacy, legacy. studios that will be soon so mm -hmm. it'll work this will work for now but i put it in the chatty thing so you can find <laughs> yeah and then you. we will see you next sunday and i'll have to have these lovely ladies back because you have questions for them and we will have to get them to answer questions okay. and we'll do some sort of stream from briar fest i imagine that would be fun it has With to happen everyone. oh my god a giggle <laughs> we will stream from on top of a bagel that happens to be <laughs> on the floor at Briarfest. We'll find a bagel and be like, oh, it's a sign. <laughs> oh God, if, you, if you walk down the halls in the chin, there is 100% a possibility we will find a bagel on the floor. <laughs> like randomly. I've seen some weird stuff. There, it's going to be its own experience. It is. Yeah. It's going to be great. Cool. Alrighty, well, everybody you. have an awesome weekend. Thank you to our yeah. wonderful guests. And we will see you next Sunday doing more streamy things. And I'll post about the tater batch stuff. Mm -hmm. You'll have until Wednesday to enter for them. Um, if you want one of the paid and full ones, and then we'll move on to the new guy. There might be a couple of the long haired because there's a <laughs> few people that haven't paid, but I'll clean up details or I'm just going to keep going in the <laughs> <I'll take> post. <laughs> Okay. Right. Love you guys. See you next time. Thank you. Bye. Awesome guests. Bye. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, don't feed trolls. Yeah. No bagels for trolls. They can have the bad decisions yeah. bagels. That's all they get to eat. <laughs>